Oh Lord. Okay. I need serious help from the Christian community right now. I need prayers on to Jason because he's being extremely dangerous and increasingly violent lately. He's been smacking me more and I just discovered that he's been looking at these, uh, this fake uh, rape porn lately. Um, it is like jiggly girls rape porn stuff and I need some help. I need some prayers for this man. He has a serious freaking demon in him, this violent demon, and I've been trying to deal with it for a really long time and I can't do it anymore. I need the church. I need Yeshua HaMashiach to help this man because I've been spending three years fighting this man's demons for him and trying to heal him of, of whatever is hurting him. He's addicted to really bad stuff and he needs mental help and I keep telling him he needs mental help and he's not getting the mental help. Now me, I am on full board of getting any mental help that I need. But right now, I need the Christian community to help me either get me out of this situation with me and my children or, or help this man get the help that he needs. But I'm tired of playing games with people. I'm tired of pretending that this stuff isn't real. I need help because I love this man dearly. I've always loved this man and I've always seek to get this man help. And I don't know what to do anymore because me as a wife can't help this man if he's literally looking up rape porn and then becoming violent on me because of it. I love him and I wish nothing, no harm on him. I want him to get help, but he's not getting help and a bunch of people is enabling him in this violent streak in his life. No, I don't want him arrested or in trouble with anything. I want him to get the therapy that he needs, okay? Because this is a mental disorder. This isn't him being harmful or anything on purpose. This is him needing serious help. And I need the Christian community to pray for me or help me get out of this situation. I don't know. I just need help because I love this man and I want him to get better. But I can't do it if he's constantly has violence on his mind. I can't help him if he's just constantly thinking, oh my God, I'm, I'm thinking about raping these fucking women, these fake fucking women. It's so disgusting. And he says he doesn't care that I see it. He, he, he says he doesn't care. And I don't know what to do anymore. I don't have anyone in my life. I'm scared. I feel trapped. I feel alone. And I don't have anyone in my in my life. So if I have to bring it online, I will. Because I don't have anyone. I don't have friends to talk to. I don't got places to go. All I want is my husband back. All I want is love from him again. He's been disappearing at the house consistently lately and coming back like he hates me. And he says it's been going on for a month. Yeah, it has been going on for a month. But I'm really worried about him. I'm really worried about him. And I, I call my, I, he needs a therapist. I need people 
to stop enabling this man to violence. Because you're not helping him. You're harming him. He needs help. He needed help back in May. And I got arrested instead. He needed help. Back when I first met him, he needed help. But there's only so much I can do. There's only so much I can take on. I don't care if I look like a bad guy. I don't care. I want that man to get help. I don't care if he leaves me even. I want him to get help. I love him. I love him. I love that man so much and I'm losing him. And there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do. This is all in his head. It's all in his head. I cleaned up my own puke. I can't help him. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me. How do you help someone who wants nothing to do with you? I'm not losing him because of my actions. I'm worried about him, and that's the biggest thing that I've been telling him. Is I'm worried about him. He's yelling and screaming and being angry a lot, and now he's looking at this rape porn. He's obsessing on violence. He did this, he did this when we first got together, too. He goes through these periods where he obsesses on violence, and he becomes violent. And he, he becomes increasingly agitated and angry. And, and he has these, like, delusions in his head that I, I don't care about him. I don't love him. And I love him. And this is my last resort of loving him. Because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do to, to console this man. I don't know what to do to love this man. I don't know how to help him in his anger. I don't care if my meal ticket is over. That's not what this is about. I want my man happy. I don't want him obsessing about violence and hurting people and hurting women. You know how horrifying it is to live with a man who looks at rape porn? It's horrifying! I don't care if he doesn't want me after this. I want this man to have help. I love him. You cannot love someone you disrespect so much. I know he doesn't love me, but I love him. I drove 8,000 miles for that man. I took care of him when no one would take care of him. I put up nights of him threatening me and pouring alcohol down the sink. And 
and I'm told that I'm abusive for trying to help someone. I love this man so much. I love this man so much. I don't know what to do anymore. People are just so angry and hateful nowadays. There's no love in man's heart anymore or their fellow man. It's just like how the Bible said it would happen. And I'm sitting here with all the love in my heart. And no one sees it. They they think like I they think that I think like them. They think I'm violent and I'm manipulative and I'm abusive and all I want is peace. All I want is love. All I want is no name calling, no yelling, no harm. I want peace, man, and I want, and there's nothing I can do to appease this man. He's just going to automatically think I'm the enemy. Bullshit. And I'm just, and I, I guess that's what I am to him, is I'm his enemy. I love him so much. Yeah, he can make his videos without interference. That's fine. He can do whatever he wants. You know, I don't I don't know how to show this man any more love than I have. I don't know how to show him that I actually care. I get name called, I get yelled at, and I'm the bad guy. And, and this is something that I have lived with my whole entire life of people calling me bad names, treating me like shit, and, and, and then I'm just going to have to accept that I'm a bad guy. So I'm a bad guy. Okay? If, if that brings peace to people, I'm the bad guy. I'll be like Jesus. I'll be like that. I'll be the bad guy. I'll take all the sin of mankind onto the world just to heal you guys. Because you don't know what you're doing. You really don't know what you're doing. Because you're looking at someone that's innocent, that loves you, that cares for you. And you're just <clears throat> breaking them in half, man. It's so sad how this world has turned out to be. I'm just going to keep preaching. I'm just going to pre keep preaching God, man. Because God's all I got at this moment, man. I don't got anyone else. Everyone's gone fucking satanic. Everyone's gone in this, like, this point where everyone's out to get them. And because they think everyone's out to get them, they're out pointing fingers and calling everyone names. And I don't want to interact like that anymore. Like yesterday, I was so inappropriate yesterday and so angry. And I'm so ashamed of myself for being so angry and acting so inappropriately. Because I know I'm very weak right now. I know I'm emotionally weak. 
I know my marriage is falling apart. There's nothing I can do because he, he's completely stopped loving me. And I know it's not my fault because I've just always been the way I've always been. I haven't changed a damn lick. So if his mind has to go that way, and he has to go down the way of lust and adultery, fine. But I'm not going to engage in that. You know? I want to be loved. I want to truly be loved with some by someone. I want to truly have someone just care what I say. But maybe that's not something I need anymore. Maybe I'm at that stage of BPD where it's it's time to just cut all ties with human beings because human beings seem to not understand where I'm coming from or how I'm feeling. And I don't want to be a bother to anyone about how I feel. But at the same time, I want to express myself. You know, I'm not responsible for what you guys say to me. I'm not responsible for your hatred you put on me. That is not my fault. That is not my doing. That is your doing. I am not responsible for it. I am responsible for my own words and what I say. And how you express yourself is on you, not me. And I feel bad about how you're expressing yourself toward me. Because it's nothing but vitriol hate and trying to make me look like something I'm not. And you led that man to believe I am something that I'm not. Like you did with Chris. Like you did with Chris. And you're gonna get what you want so you can have your little fucking laughs and I can be fucking miserable. And I don't have bad behavior. My voice is calm. I'm not calling anyone names. I am being... I... I am saying what I feel. There is nothing wrong with my behavior at all. Never. I can say, yesterday, there was a problem with my behavior because I was so miserable that no one would listen to me or hear me. I am constantly being told to shut up and not to be listened to. Thank you, CJ. How is supporting Rev Hatred? It's not. I love him. I need this man to get help. You need to let that man find a good woman and leave him alone. Is that what you've been telling him to go get another woman? Instead of saving a marriage and doing the Christian thing? Like, this is, this is what he's doing. He's listening to atheists. And I need the Christians out there to pray that this man stops listening to these people and their wickedness. For the longest time, they tried to make me out to be a demon. And I'm not. I'm a woman of God, and I love Jesus Christ with all my heart and soul. They're mad that I preach that they're going to go to hell and burn. And how dare you, baby Jane, as a Catholic, as a Catholic, baby Jane, try to ruin a marriage. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, baby Jane. As a Catholic, look at all this abuse you're putting out on me. Look at that. Jason needs help. That's all I'm asking. That's not abusive. He's looking at violent stuff. And he's doing the violence onto me. And I need help and no one's listening. It's scary. I'm scared. I'm scared. And I have no one to help me. Or listen to me. I want Jesus so bad. I need a Christian. 
Christian, I need a believer in Christ. I really do. I need a believer in Christ to, to listen to me without this fucking stupid judgment. <sighs> You guys are the worst human beings alive. I need someone. I need someone. I need someone. What is the feedback other than it's all my fault? What feedback is that? Is it's all my fault? It's my fault that man is looking at violent porn. It's my fault that he's not touching me anymore other than through violence. It's my fault.
how my graph work. Well, it's what you said. Well, I can bring up what manages. Because it's extremely lustful or like a high imagery the angles. Well, why don't you do that with me? I do. I do that Because of the rage. I get there's this feeling of so much rage that comes up in my heart that and it results in looking at images like that. I yeah, but you're putting that violence on me and that rage well, on me. No, but I'm not. This is what Jesus not. this is what Jesus told me. No, stop. That's another lie. Yes, but hey, you're not getting the full thing because I filter it in five. I don't think you should look at it. I don't want to. And I feel that I, I don't like you looking at the side of No, I won't look at her again. I I, I swear to Christ that you're up there. He ain't on the cross. I want to be judged.
Yeah, I guess it does, doesn't it? It's amazing life. It's crazy. They have a bird. Uh, a bird. He's a bird. Oh my god, be careful. Yeah, oh my god, that's insane. They're no. going to call the clouds. No, I really think that's a bad idea. That's not responsible. Oh my god, no, just don't play it. Okay, you just want to watch the chat. Hey, we're gonna Hey, more. They're obsessed with us. Oh, she oh, is more. some chick that trolls your mom. A lot of people that just troll They're all from us. Yeah, they're just people that mom. troll your mom. Yes. I'll put now. I'll put that. Yeah.
explain something. Okay, you gotta hurt somebody too, though. Yeah, I mean, see, I made the kid cry. You see? Yeah, that's that going. Like, it's great. I made the kid cry. Do you see? No. Okay. No. He doesn't go on like anymore. They already made it something that I work here. Do you get it? They always do. I told you they're not going to I don't care if they're my friends. Oh, yes, Dad. Go and play around. I'm like, no. You can't. No. They already, they, already, they already said that he hurt you. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry, son. They no longer have a closer Right? They have original recipe for extra. So it's not written on the 
are fan scooters. These are fan scooters that make fan That's what it's in. So we should be flattered. They love us. They actually love us. But what they don't understand about this truck is, I think you won't understand. Like what the Hollywood stars have to do with it. Yeah. There's Jules again. How is Jules in here? She should be blocked. What the fuck? Multiple accounts. Okay. I, I've even blocked that Rachel Dragonfly. Her toast all fucking big. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Her toast was in there. It doesn't matter. There's nothing being said though. I know. It was just said on three. Like, 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 like Ricky Brooklyn. Everyone needs to unsub and unfollow them. <laughs> no, I have to clarify this because I'm not gonna let that lie go. I'll be right back. What lie? This is bullshit. One second. Oh my god. Hey folks, we found out that the mic was live, so we're like, hey Zach, go troll the people, you know. Go troll them. So he gave you a little Ricky Berwick type re sound. That's what he did. He just came down here alone. He was alone and he just went re. <laughs> Cause he's cute. Anyway, this fight between me and Shani is real. We are actually not doing well right now. Mainly because of internet trolls. But no, my behavior has been not good. I have raged massively Von Helton style. Okay? I have had such blinding rage that this stream is good. Shani's stream here is good for one reason. Prayer does work. So G-Man, pray for me. Veckel, pray for me. Ken Jones, pray for me. Uh, Spoken, pray for me. Uh, every Christian that I know is the real deal I want your prayers because I, I have raged so massively, it's not acceptable. But my wife aired to you guys that, that I was looking at hentai rape porn, and that is personal, and she should not have done it. Period. It's my business. If I wanted to talk about my porn addiction again, I could have. She aired my business, and I'm pissed. So pray for me, but look, I'll explain this hentai porn thing, okay? If any of you guys ever looked at hentai, you're go well, you're going to know the stupid tentacle stuff for sure. That's stupidity. I never looked at tentacle porn. I never found anything attractive about it. It's stupid. The reason I like some hentai jiggly girls rape porn, do you know why I like it? Because the angles are so extreme, like a, a nice big ass of a chick getting pounded. Do you get what I'm saying? I like the looks of that. I do. It, it really gets me off. But it's not right, and it's not godly, and I don't want to look at it. Okay? It's not literally like me watching a woman be raped, because I don't get off on that stuff. I think it's sick. The fake rape porn, I think, is sick. The real stuff with women that are tied up on the ceiling, and they're, they're being, like, poked and prodded, I'm not into that at all but I like hentai porn because it's so extreme like the angles and the fucking nice huge butt like I love that stuff I can't help that and it's like four guys on her she's jerking them off and blowing them and it, they look like they like it you know it's not like they're <laughs> it's not like they're being raped because it looks like they like it but anyway uh, I shouldn't look at that stuff as a Christian I should not look at that stuff as a Christian. Hi, folks. And I'm just, I just want, I want peace. I do. I want peace in my household. I don't want any evil in my bloodstream. I am in the state that, Paul's, that Paul was in at the end of his life in prison, just writing. He wasn't writing because he couldn't really even see anymore. He was blind. Uh, so, so it was Luke that wrote for him, the physician, Luke. He was his stenographer. Anyway, 
I love Shani with all my heart. I do. She's awesome. I love her. My anger, I have issues, but she has issues too. She has issues too. So I think what's going to happen is probably marriage counseling. And there's going to be a mediator, and it's just going to work out. So I'm going to put a song on for you guys. I love you. I'm going to leave this open so that you can chat. I love you guys. What the flip? Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get used to Shani's mouse here. Okay. We want... After these messages, we'll be right... So, uh, <coughs> <coughs> we have been discussing things yeah. and um, talking to each other. Yeah. I haven't put any weight on. You're losing weight. <laughs> Look how baggy my clothes are. You're losing weight. This is a 3X. This used to be like really like tight on me. And now yeah. it's like. You're losing weight. Actually. Jesus. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Chupacabras. Sorry. I got to get my other coffee. So. <sighs> We just signed up for couples counseling. Because we both don't want our relationships, our relationship with each other, to fail. And we both love each other. And, um, you okay there? Oh. I got a freaking package. Thank you, Quasi. And that was fast. I call bullshit. Really? We need to sort problems out, folks. They're, say they're already calling bullshit. Look, when you got massive problems like we've been having, you got to get them taken care of or relationships done. Okay? Yep. Yeah. And we did. We signed. We just literally signed up for counseling. Yeah. You did. So, cause, you know, there's been a lot of stress that's been going on. A lot of people have been purposely trying to break us up, and put in negative reinforcement. By a bunch of these girls saying they're talking to Rev and Rev is coming on to them. And then on Rev's side, what he's getting in private messages is I'm using him and I'm talking shit against him behind his back and all this other stuff. And what it's done is it fed on my paranoia and it fed on his anger. And I was paranoid he was doing things behind my back. And he was angry that I was accusing him of this stuff. And, and thinking it was an excuse for something. Because all, both of you, all of you, you made this scenario in who we are as people. Hey, folks. Baby? What? You okay? Yeah. I'm coming, sorry. 
I just got I got my stand for my for my camera. Beautiful little stand for my camera. It's gonna be perfect for mukbanging. See? Oh. See? It's a perfect little stand. And it's got this it Yep, tripod. Nice. Ain't that perfect? That's for mukbanging. And it's very good balance. It's sturdy. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. I can't nice. wait to use this. It's going to be great. Can I kiss you? Hmm. We're going to work it. What's oh. wrong with Zach? He's fine. What's up, Zach? Are you okay? Zach, are you okay, you... Zach? Did you break something? No. What's up? Why are you crying, buddy? What's the matter, baby? What's the matter? What's the matter? Tell me. You're not going to get in trouble. It. You'll be fine. Just know it's not lost, Zach. It's, it's not lost. It's not lost, okay? Mommy has it. She just doesn't know exactly where it is. You'll... It might be. I will find it today. Mommy's going to find you. it today, okay? I love you, baby. <laughs> the poor kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so cute. We're going to find it today and you'll get it back today, okay, Zach? Now close your door, all right, and just hang out and have a good time. I love you. All right. He's so cute. He's worried about his Pikachu 3DS, folks. Look at this beautiful Gavin. Hey, Gavin, you're a star. Gavin, look, you're a star. Gavin. He's not going to leave me. Stop saying he will. <sighs> Shanny, you know that, that they just say this to trigger you. Well, they make other people believe this is the truth. Well, it's not. Like, we've known each other for ten years. Why would we give up on each other? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, guys. We're not going to give up because we love each other. Okay. We legit love it. It's called a marriage. Yeah. It, it's it's not called split up whenever you don't feel whenever good about each other. you don't feel you. good about each other, exactly. Yeah, right? Yeah. You have to work things out. Yes. Yes. That's correct. Don't you know that? You got to work shit out. Don't you know that? And if you... Are you guys that cold-hearted? And if you don't work it out... Your maturity level isn't there. No. If you're saying, okay, I fucked this shit, I'm going to walk, that's immaturity 101. There's no reason to divorce him because he gets angry, okay? Well, there's a big reason to divorce if I was into rape porn, which I'm not. I'm explaining this very simply, that it's, it's the, the angles. angles. Uh, yeah, I, I know. Please... I'm not into rape porn. That would be a it, reason it to dis leave me, though. It disturbs me very much. I'm saying that that would be a legit reason to leave me. No, it's a legit reason to start pleading for you to get therapy. Yeah, that too. Because I've already fucked up two marriages. I don't want to fuck up this one. Well... There's sometimes... I and I, I didn't close. fuck... And, and here's the thing. I didn't fuck up my relationship with Chris. I don't know what happened. I love the fuck out of that man. Like, I will defend you, but I don't know what happened with you, Chris. I don't know what happened. I tried to figure that out myself. Well, there you go. You don't even it's know. Like, it's like he went quiet, stopped talking to me, 
and everything turned out like I was being evil to him or, or wrong to him. Very similar to how these people treat me. Yeah. So I know it was them feeding him shit while I was fucking working my working ass, your off, ass off, doing nothing, trying to trying to <coughs> survive. Thank you, Angie Lee. Healthy relationships have fights. Yeah, that's correct. They do. You're not married. That's not true. Okay. We are married. No, this needs to be addressed too for the last time. We're spiritually like we look, spiritually look. took vows with each other. Jenny. Yes. Let me speak. Okay. I'm the guy. This is male shit. It is. We are not technically married on paper. That's true. I have been trying to get it on paper, but Shani won't get her ID. I have a problem with paperwork and a fear, and it's a legitimate, it's a legitimate phobia. Okay, with that said, Apparently, the, the state of Colorado does recognize our marriage. Yes. So that's all that matters. Is our marriage is recognized. It's valid, yeah. It's valid, yes. So there you go. We don't have a paper that says Jason Egroff and Shannon Eileen Egroff yet. We don't have that yet. But we're gonna. We will. COVID has destroyed the country. You can't get anything done. Working your ass off doing nothing... Oh yeah. God, no. Wow. Doing nothing? Do you know how long it took her to put that t intro together? That's masterfully done. She did it pretty quick for the for the way it looks. She worked her ass off. No, on. when I was working my ass off for Chris, I was doing nothing. Oh my god! Like that's so fucking bullshit. Like I called you up at work. At work. Trying to stay up. Yeah. Because I was working 12-hour shifts at night. I was exhausted beyond yeah. belief, and I wasn't allowed to sleep. It was awful. It's true. It was awful. And you keep saying I'm lying. I don't lie about anything. This is all true. You guys are the ones who's saying I'm lying. You're the ones who keep making scenarios about what happens in my life. And you can't even pr you can't even give any valid proof or evidence of what goes on in my life. So keep fucking talking, idiots. Keep lying about me. Well, hey. And all the girls are saying they want to be Mrs. E. Groff. Well, that's just look. That's to trigger you. Just disregard it. Because I'm telling you, the person. Egroff, the guy, is saying, I want you. Okay. Get on your knees. Wow. <laughs> that moment will come, too. Like a real one. The one. The moment. I yeah. love that moment. And, like, not in a bathroom or in a parking lot. Like, Chris, Chris fucking proposed to me in a fucking parking lot. Parking lot. Nothing romantic set up or anything. Whatever. Like, I really, like, seriously, if I'm going to be proposed to, I want it really romantic and special. I want a boom. Because I never had that. Whatever. I never had that. I was married twice, and I never really was whatever, really dude. goodly proposed to. Like, whatever. People's lives aren't perfect, Shannon. Get used to it. I know. Just get But used it's to like it. all these other women I hear, they have all these perfect Yeah, proposals. and most of them lie. Who cares? Well, I'd like it. Whatever. Be nice. It's a lot of stuff I'd like, too. Well, what would you like? I'd, I'd fulfill it. I want to get married by Elvis. Dude, I'm totally willing to fulfill that and awesome. get married by Elvis. Yeah, we're doing that. Why? I need to get my ID. I can leave the fucking state. Yes. Well, no. We're on red lockdown, aren't we? Colorado? No, you can still leave the state. 
You can. Well, then there you go. Yeah, you got to get your fucking ID. Do you realize how many times I've said this to her? Get your fucking ID. Do you know how bad this phobia is? No, stop it. That's excuses for procrastination. It might be excuses for procrastination, but what if my procrastination is fear? My mother was like that, too. She was the same way with paperwork? Exactly the same way. She was a bad procrastinator, too. And I inherited it. It sucks. I hate procrastinating. Hate it. I do it too. I appreciate all the dreamy comments. I fuck me too. But thank you for the comments. I appreciate it. All girls deserve for someone to try their hardest. Thank you, Mercedes. That's true. I that's what I want that. Why why wouldn't I want that? Because I work my hardest. It's true. I work my damnedest in this relationship. I worked harder in this relationship than I have in other relationships. I'm sure you have. Cuz I've had I have complex I I've had complex issues to deal with. Alcoholism. I don't have a nursing license. You have a CNA, right? Yes, I have a CNA. And it's none of your business what state, you freak. Okay. Do you think it's time to wrap this up? I don't know. I'm just trying to talk. When I proposed, my wife said why wasn't exactly the response. She said why, Freddie? <laughs> she said why? He asked if he marry her, and she was like, why? Will you marry me? Why? <laughs> That's something I would say. That's a weird question. <laughs> like, why do you want to marry I'm me? I'm sorry, Freddie. Why do you want to and marry me? It was me? just done to me. Like, no, see? no, seriously. It was just done to me. Why do you want to marry me? Oh my god. Because I love you. Legit. I love you. That's why. Why? Because you're everything in a woman that I wanted, plus more. I'm messy. You're crazy. You're messy. Yeah. But I asked for that. I asked literally. I'm asked, just saying we have really good fucking sex. Yeah, we do. We have and that's sex. really hard to find. I only had one partner. <coughs> I've had several partners. <coughs> in the, you several? Have, several. Yeah. Yes. Well, wow. That's a big several too, folks. It is. It's a big several. I'm fine with that. I was a reprobate. Yeah, you were. I'm fine with that. But can I finish what I was saying before you mm -hmm. fucking humiliate me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, I've only been with two men in ten fucking years, okay? So I ain't a fucking hoe. And I married both of them. You repented of whoredom. I did, yes, man. You, did. you repented of whoredom. You did. I did. God bless you for it. But it took me till you to find someone who could actually do that stuff that I needed to get done. That's cool. I'm glad I could be that for you. So I'm telling you, our sex is fucking rare. I love it. I do too. I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that either. It's I so beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. Making love to you. I love making love to you, too. I look like Tana Mojo. Weird. Sex isn't about looks or, or, or this aesthetic stuff that pornography provides. I agree with that. I totally agree with that. That's why I cut off porn. But I was triggered back into old behaviors but from stress and anger. And I'm sorry. But we're going to marriage counseling. And it's going to be good. Yeah. All right? We're doing it. It's going to be good. Well, they do it online, so... That's perfect. We got... You got your setup here. I'll go downstairs. It's perfect. Yeah. They probably want us together. And not in separate computers. Why? 
to see our dynamic. Well, then you're coming downstairs. Like, I'll bring this chair okay. for you. Because that, that, there's no room here. Yeah, true. And my ass feels like it hurts so bad, folks. These steps are rough. Sitting here like fucking... What I want, no one can give. What do I want? I want love, support, respect... And not raised voices. That is something someone can give me. That's not an impossible task to do to someone. Well, see, or for someone. You've had every one of those things already. The thing you don't have yet is a cessation of name calling and yelling. Which, yeah. I'm, which I'm working on. That's my last thing. Yeah. And we're, we're going to be a perfect couple then. I know. It's perfect. perfect. As soon as we fix these fucking kinks. Yeah. We're going to be better. And the also, the therapist is going to work with me over the fucking Chris thing. And yeah. And thinking you're always cheating because of him. That is not acceptable for me. Because no. I am loyal and I will never cheat. But you have to realize that's just trauma. I don't care. No. This is where my autonomy comes. It kicks in. And I'm standing up for myself. And I'm saying, no, I won't tolerate that. I know. If it doesn't go away, I'm leaving. But it is a problem with me, too, in my heart. I don't know how to deal with it. Okay, well, then we're, that's something you talk to our person about. Yeah, that's like, why I need therapy over it. Because right, it's yeah, hard. That's cool. He destroyed my trust in people. Well, that's not my problem. You have to fix that. I know. In yourself. I know. That's it. Like, I, I had nothing to do with that But stuff. as long as I have your, like, support over I do. Cause, I, no. Because you, under, you understand why I feel that way, right? Yes. But that doesn't make it okay for you to not give me trust and constantly accuse me of cheating. I don't constantly Yes, you do. You. I ask questions. No. That's not accurate. Okay, but I, I ask Shani? questions. No, you accuse me. No, you take you'll my say, questions as an accusation. No, you'll go, uh, where have you been, Jason? See, it's a question. And then you go, oh, I see. Why don't you just tell me the truth, Jason? I'm so sorry. Why can't you just tell me the truth, Jason? And then I go, honey, there's no one. No, I want honesty. You have to tell me the truth, Jason. That's brow beating, and it's abusive. It's psychological. I'm sorry. Because I, I can't help that. That's okay. just what's going on in my head. Okay, and I forgive you. I forgive you. It's like it never happened now. I forgive you. It's just, it, I can't help that. It's like... I, I know it's part of you, but it's so hard for me. It's hard for me. Okay. Like they said, one person was 100% right in that chat. And they said it's both of them. That's correct. I have bad issues of anger and manic episodes sometimes and depressive episodes sometimes, and you have other stuff. That's why I think lithium would be nice. No, I... Lithium. You'd love it. I'm it, sure I'd love it. It would make you feel really good and feel balanced and not as... Uh, Nirvana, I'm so happy. Yeah. Because today I found my friends. They're in my head. I'm going to be talking to people in my head all the time on lithium. That's not... No. What? No. I trust Kurt. He abused lithium. Um, I know. I'm, I'm kind of trolling. Drugs are bad, kids. He abused lithium. He didn't do it like... It, it, he did actual it incorrectly. Doctor yeah. prescribed where it's like yeah. microdose. Yeah. He, 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 it's like the stars that that take zannies. Yes. Zanny the nanny. Do you remember that? Casey Anthony? What a demon. Like me, I, like, medication does not help the BPD. It doesn't. No, it's you. It's because it's your personality. I know. <laughs> it's, it's who you are. It's who I am. So, but, but. But see, it's lucky because I like. The good qualities of your personality are so good. The loyalty. The loyalty, the, 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 the pointing out bad behavior to correct it. All, they're positive things. So you're, you're net positive for the world. But when you're depressive or, or, or you go full, okay, 
you have blackouts and you go full psychotic. Well, it's when I'm pushed and I'm being really. Well, I've witnessed people are this. being really mean to me. Right. When I when I act like that. Yeah. It's when I'm pushed. And I get that. When things are calm and everyone's peaceful with me and calm with me, I'm fine. Yeah. But when I'm yelled at. Or or name called, demeaned. Yeah. Exactly. I yeah. Get, I get it. I get it. What you're doing is you're triggering that like little childhood trauma. But this is why I said to you upstairs before we came down here that I need a little bit more grace. I know. I I think I need a little bit more grace, too, though, with my stuff. Sure. And I'll give you that. See? More grace, more grace, and we meet in the middle. Yeah. It's easy. See? You can do it. Because I don't want to hate you. I love you. I don't want to... I don't want to hate you, either. You're, you're the great... You're the best thing that's happened to me. I saved your life. Okay. Stop. I love you. I love you too, but stop right there. Don't pump yourself up because you do that a lot. When I make concessions, you'll start pumping yourself up. And I'm like, yeah, you did that. Okay, okay, okay. I did though. It's narcissistic. Okay, or me giving myself some credit. No, it's narcissistic. You do it too much. You'll make a concession to me and then go, yeah, but I did this and or this. Or maybe you're overanalyzing it. No, no, I'm not overanalyzing it. Because you do it all the time. You do it a lot. That's black and white thinking. That's called split and saying you No, that's the what time. you're doing. Okay, I'm done. I'm not going to discuss this stuff <laughs> because we're going to have a mediator for this. That's going to be awesome. I'm, the, I'm looking forward to it. She may be calling you out more than she calls me out. That's fine. I want to fix what's wrong. I do. Because I know I got shitty behaviors. I do. I want to fix them. I love you. I love you too. Dragnet already offered me something. It's like that's... No one's going to take your fucking offer, dude. I didn't even see it, Drag, so I don't know what it is, what you're talking about. But me and Shani are not... We're together, man. It's a marriage and it's, there's... I'm, bon- I'm not a monster... I'm not manipulative, and I'm definitely not controlling that people try to point this out to me. I'm not any of that. What I am is a woman who just fucking says how she fucking feels. That's not controlling. Yeah. I agree. You have the right to talk. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. You do. And it's not abusive to say how you feel. No. No, that's not abusive at all. Or manipulative. What is abusive in psychological abuse is when you constantly tell something they're doing, you're telling someone they're doing something that they're not doing. Well, you know, Colin. Stop. That is, that's abusive too. Stop. Well, you want to point out all my stuff and not do your stuff. No, I'm not finished pointing out what you do. Well, how about we just stop pointing what we do and just forgive each other? That's what I had already done. Well, then stop. Well, then move on. Yeah. Stop talking about this yeah. stuff and get off this, the internet. This isn't productive, is it? No. I was already done. I don't know why. Why, I, why are you still online? I don't know. I don't care what they have to say. End the stream. Me. And let's go play cyberpunk or something. No, I want to sit down and talk. I don't want to move right now. I'm kind of in pain. Whatever. We're going to marriage counseling, and I think it'll make things a lot better. We'll figure this out. Yep. Damn, that was good. It went right next to my cigarette pack. That was slick. I wish you wouldn't smoke. I wish you wouldn't. Uh, at least smoke away from me. Okay. Thank you. I love you. I love you too.
And the reason why I'm like this about cigarette smoke is it makes my heart hurt. Now, if anyone knows what cigarette smoke does to your lungs, it actually closes off your capillaries. Hence, further in high blood pressure and risk to blood clots. Which is something I definitely don't want and I certainly don't approve of. Um, being a, I think I'm allergic to cigarettes actually. It, it like <laughs> swells up my sinuses and it makes me not feel good. And I'm not selfish. I'm not selfish at all. I just establish boundaries. And it's not abusive to establish boundaries. It never will be. He comes in my streams. He came in my stream today. You act like it's a control thing that we are in each other's streams. Oh, God, you people are fucking ridiculous. It's just constant abuse. It's just constant abuse with you guys. Just uh, th just endless. Hi, watermelon. Hi, baby girls. Are you worried about daddy? He's okay. You know what? A therapist would never tell me to get off YouTube. You know why? Because YouTube is meant to express yourself. Why would a therapist tell you not to express yourself? Isn't that the purpose of therapy is to express oneself? I'm allergic to cig smoke. I am in deaf in one ear because of it. All right. So I know there are a lot of people who are allergic to cigarette smoke. Me, it just, it affects my sinuses. So I can't be around it. And it makes my heart hurt. Yeah, she's part Maine Coon. She's absolutely gorgeous, man. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Baby!
come to the revolution. I was on, I was on mute, and 102 people are watching. That's right insane. Now. But are you gonna, are you gonna tell them? To, oh to my toe. Them? Rev and Shanny get Rev and Shanny on Twitch. Go follow and subscribe ow. if you want to. Oh, ow, baby, look. What happened? My toe. What? Ha oh, ow. oh, you caught that on the Xbox. Oh. Did you? Yeah, it's bleeding. Uh, oh, my God, okay. Ow, can I have some toilet paper or something? Yeah. Thank sure. you. Okay. Oh, I peeled my nail oh off. Oh, my God, I hate that. She peeled her nail back on the Oh. Ah. Ow. Here you go, Bubby. Ow. There you go. Ow. My poor honey girls. I'm sorry. Poor, poor girls. Oh. My cyberpunk want, got a rip. My cyberpunk is getting pretty good views on it. Ow, ow, ow. That hurts so bad. I know. Well, nails are the worst, man. Oh. That that pain is bad, man. Oh, it's just gonna slowly peel off one day. It yeah. Be good. Yeah, it's gonna. Ow. Oh, thank you, baby. I want to thank all of the people, the new people that have subbed to me. Yeah, Thanks. and all the new people who subbed to me. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate uh. that. And I want to make good content. Oh. Thank you. I, I like I honor subs and I I, I want to make good content because it's fun stuff. The whole nail ripped off? No, like it's hanging on still the nail, but like half of it is like released from the actual skin, so it hurts like hell. It's 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 not my pinky toe, but the one next to it. it sucks. Ow! I'm really sorry, honey. <laughs> no, I don't want to see you in pain. I don't like the sight of blood. I don't mind it. Most people don't like it. Well, the thing is, is like, as a home health aide, you kind of get used, used to cleaning to wounds. Yes, of course you do. And shit, and piss, and puke, and everything else that goes around it. That's true. Shit, and piss, and vomit, and blood. Exactly. Just get used to it. I don't think I could ever get used to that. That's why I couldn't be a nurse. The head of nursing over at... Uh, 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 Shanny, for Christ, I like how you can turn the tears on and off. It's like you're trying to play victim and villain to manipulate Rev. Or I have BPD. Fucking asshole. Fucking invalidated asshole. Go to hell, man. Oh. Why do you pick on someone's fucking, like, mental illness like that? It's fucking cruel. I just finished crying, like, two minutes ago. Greetings to all the folks. Could you give us a thumbs up? Thank you. Like, do you think just because... Like, like this is what's really interesting. I think this is why people don't, don't seem to fucking understand people with BPD. Is they, they do this... Like, they see this... These tears on and off, and they they think it's manipulation. It's not. It's not. Do you know someone who has BPD has right. about eight fucking mood changes a day? A day. When a normal human being has two to three a fucking week, I don't know how yeah, you fucking Shanny, do it. Shanny, they call that switching, right? They call it switching. No. No. It's just heightened emotions. Oh, right. Okay. I thought that was technically. <laughs> no, it's heightened emotions. <coughs> So when my emotions are heightened, yeah, I'm going to cry. But afterwards, 
after I cry, yeah. I feel nothing and I feel numb. <coughs> because that's how my brain is wired. That's just how I think. That's just how I am. And it's really disgusting you would do that to someone and accuse them of such things just because you want to try to get my man, whore. What the fuck? She's one of those girls that's been flirting with you. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. The little wizard bro. If you saw her little icon, you'd see it. You know. Oh, okay. I'm not lying about BPD at all. How are you? How are you lying? How am I lying about BPD? What are you lying about? It's very well documented about our mood changes. Right. You look beautiful. I love this. This is a beautiful wig. It's very nice. It's beautiful. Oh. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Twiggy Ramirez for Marilyn Manson. Shani Lyon. What am I lying You're about? Not lying about anything. What am I lying about, Dave You're Smith? You're not lying. Because there's a <laughs> lot of people who have BPD in here, and they know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no glasses. Better second hand. Baby, you're fine. You have a joint in your hair. What? We princess. Oh my god! It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I'm gonna send that to Brandy TV. She'll love that, and she'll love my. I look pretty. Uh... <laughs> I look pretty. It's this side. Get out of there, Rev. She's driving you insane. Come live with the Dragon Lord. Oh, my God. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's just creepy, ain't it? I'm not driving you crazy. I'm not. Okay, no, you have been really pretty bad. And past. you've been bad, too. Sure, we, we're we both guilty. We're both been bad. I look pretty. But no, we're not like that with each other. We love each other. Ooh. Got naughty. We're not on OnlyFans, though. That's the thing. We can't do that. Yeah, but no one can see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That feels good. Mm. You like this. That's weird. Because I look more like a chick right now. Come on. You look really pretty, actually. I look feminine. You look really pretty. I'm pretty. You look really... <laughs> you look really pretty. Oh, my God. <laughs> we can't do that. We're gonna get okay. flat. I'm getting hard too. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's it. I gotta sit down. <laughs> Got a little hard there, folks. You gotta. I have to sit immediately when that happens. Jesus, these bangs suck. <laughs> like, I wish there was more hair in my face. Like, that's sexy. When you put hair in your face, it's hot. Like, but these bangs don't work for that. I uh, think I need to trim the bangs. Uh, trim the bangs? No, I wish they were longer so that I could just like put a strand of hair in my face. There we go. That's kind of hot. No, see these bangs? These bangs suck. Oh well. It, I'm still pretty. And pretty. Look at that side profile, dude. Look how thin I got. I know, you got like, very boom. thin. Boom. You got very thin. Look at that, man. Oh. Boom. Yes. All you see is like big titties though, but that makes me look fat is my big titties. Makes you look fat? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't agree though. And then I have all the loose skin on my freaking arms. Where's that joint? Oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle. Jason Avocados, folks. 
we have a cross-dressing segment on a variety show. Why do people love that shit so much? Dude? I don't know, man. I don't only love his money. I don't care if he has money or not. I don't think they get that. Well, that's because most women would look at, you know, a portfolio of $700,000 when you first were with me, and they'd be like, wow, you know. You're not like that, though. You're not impressed by dollars. You're not at all. That's the truth. Money don't impress her. It don't. Do you get, hey, folks, I'm telling you the fucking truth, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, there we go. Holy shit, I look like some kind of fucking disheveled witch. Like, like old... <laughs> Sister Sunshine, Rev, stop acting like a mentally stunted child. How embarrassing for them both. Okay. Whatever, go okay. fuck yourself, lady. Mentally stunted child. How about you go become a Buddhist again, a, or a lesbian Buddhist again, and shave your head like you used to, Sun Sister Sunshine? A lesbian Buddhist. Yeah, lesbian Buddhist. Oh, okay. The only reason why you became a Buddhist is so you could go down under, if you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> shit. What? <laughs> I'm such a Christian that I denied the faith, and I decided to lick some puss, oh, and I decided to come back to the face after I realized ah, I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> That's you, Sister Sunshine. That's you. Sister. Anyway. I ain't taking anything you ever say seriously, lady. Anything. After your whole little Buddhist stint, you're a phony in my eyes. Phony. You denied Christ. You denied the faithful woman. Woo! Hallelujah! That's right. I did it all for the nookie. So you take that cookie and shove it up here. I just wanted the nookie. The what? The nookie. The what? The nookie. So take that cookie, shove it up your what? Shove it up your what? You're cute. You're cuter. I love you. You look better in this wig. I love you too. He looks like Gwen Stefani. What? In that wig. Are you for fucking real? No. Gwen Stefani? Where do you get that from? What do you mean, man? Her face is way prettier. Na 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 You do my makeup. I'm so old. You could do my makeup, bro. I look pretty. Do you? I look pretty. If I, I shaved, look pretty. Like, if I shaved my, my facial hair right off all of it, I'd look hot. We're, like, literally sitting here and chilling, and they're calling us dumpster fires. Dumpster fires? We're just literally sitting here and chilling, yo. Why are we dumpster fires, though? Like, what's that about? We still have to go on our first honeymoon. <laughs> Vegas. Vegas is going to be fucking fun, man. Shibisky. You Who show up. Get married by the king, man. Correct. So, uh, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded uh, wife, baby? Yeah, I do. That's good, baby. How about you, baby? Do you take this baby to be your baby? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> See, I could pull off a chick easy. I could, listen, I could pull off a chick easy. The thing is, 
My arms are too big. Like, come on. Oh, how are you doing? That my nasty drag said you beat your brother-in-law. He what? threatened to expose no. you. No. That, well, I mean, that's that case, and I'm not even... I didn't beat him. I didn't beat him at all. I pushed that fucking drug dealer out of my goddamn house. And I told the fucking police that. But no, they like to throw people with borderline personality disorder because we're allowed into jail. But he was fucking pushing me. What the fuck was I supposed to do in my fucking house? I agree with that. He refused to leave my fucking house. Right. Shit! And yes, it was my house. I got that goddamn house. I fucking worked to put the goddamn payment on it. And I fucking worked to keep the fucking bills paid in that goddamn house. Right. Was my fucking house. Yeah, yours. Your name. Not his motherfucking house. My fucking house. Was... And I didn't want fucking drugs fucking dealt in my fucking uh, house. Uh, so fuck you, asshole. Fucking holy expose shit, me. Folks. Holy shit. I don't give a fuck. Stick up for a drug peddling piece of fucking shit who beats the fuck out of women. Jesus Christ. Can we please stop slandering people? I'm not slandering. I'm talking about Chris's fucking brother. Yeah, there's no proof of that. That anybody has. He fucking was pushing me. All right. Stop saying shit like this. Just let it go, man. Well, they're the ones who fucking brought yeah, it up. Yeah, ignore it. Okay. Fuck. Well, that's what fucking happened is I pushed a drug dealer out of my house. Right, I believe you. God damn it. Shani, what matters is your family knows what happened. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay. People know what the truth, you know? Fucking asshole. Yeah. Mr. Tom Sturfle. That motherfucker, that motherfucking brother of Chris's likes to go around talking about how he used to rob fucking convenience stores and get away with it. Huh? That's the type of person he is. Tom Sturfle. He got kicked out of this one house this one time, lied, and said it was them just being mean to him, when really it was his dog that fucking chewed up their whole household, and he got kicked out, and he did it, decided to yell and scream at them, and they literally got fucking annoyed because he never paid rent, he never p provided anything for bills, he always lived and scrubbed off people. Ugh. And he tried to do it to me and Chris. And I kept telling Jason, Chris, Jason. Chris, sorry. Jason, Chris. Husband, uh, title, anyway. Jason, Jastifer. I, I kept telling him, Chris, this dude is taking advantage of us. You need to start asking your brother to start paying freaking rent and stop uh -huh. eating up our household. I agree. But it's my brother, Shannon. Exactly. But, but Shannon, it's my brother. Exactly. You've heard that. Yeah. Shannon. Hey, Shannon, it's my brother, you know. Come on, Chris. Who are you going to stand up for? Your fucking flesh? What does the Bible say your flesh is, Chris? It's your wife. You stand up for the wife, not the brother, dude. He's, a, he's not even his real fucking brother. Ro Why? He's like a... A right. stepbrother. Stepbrother, yeah. Yeah. He's such a fucking... Ugh. Come on, Chris. Right? He's, he is young now. Like, I don't young, give a fuck what people young. think about me. Drag can go ahead and lie about my life all he fucking wants. He's a fucking loser. Yeah, we don't need any input from no one. No. He's a fucking loser. He sees something, he reads it, and he feeds on it, and he lets everyone on. Let him fucking expose me. Expose me for what? That I pushed a fucking drug dealer out of the goddamn house? Yeah, you did a good, you did a service for your family. And the cops didn't like it because apparently there's no fucking castle laws in Minnesota, and I thought there was because there usually is no, in the states. Not. Liberal states are like, you are a communist, and we're going to force you to be a fucking communist so you cannot defend your property. Right. That's what democratic leadership does to the country, right. folks. I'm just supposed to let some fucking punk-ass prick push me around in my own fucking no. house, right? You kick his ass out, which is what you did. And yeah. You, 
you were in your constitutional legal right to do so. Yeah. Under ownership and, of and the law. And you know what? The judge fucking saw that. Of course he did. And let me off. Of course he did. Because you know what? This motherfucker, every time they tried to get a hold of him, he kept bucking their calls and not talking to them. Well, what? That's a brilliant move. What a moron. So he tried to put these fucking assault charges on me, but never talked to the fucking lawyers or the fucking judge or anything. And fuck. never appeared in fucking court. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Like what? Because he knew it was fucking bullshit. He fucking started that shit himself. Yeah. He had his fucking dog jump up on him and claw him and bite him on purpose. So it looked like I fucking beat him up. No. And then he beat in my fucking door. He fucking... Wait a minute. He had his own dog come and scratch him to make yeah, it look the boys like you can, fucking hurt him. The boys can tell you that shit. Wow. That's crazy, man. Yeah, and he got me fucking arrested. That's and horrible. it was so easy for him to get ar- for me to get arrested because they're all associated with the Masons. And guess who the Duluth PD are? Mas- Masons. Masons, yeah. They get a little fucking call in. We don't want this bitch in our fucking family anymore. They told me they were going to do this to me anyway. Wow. That's madness. It's Masonic shit. It is. That's amazing. And I haven't been left alone since that time. I believe all that. I believe that. Ma- Masons can be horrible, horrible people. They can be the best people, too, but they can be horrible people. Masons. There is absolutely no middle ground. They're either horrible people or really good Christians. I ain't new to freaking YouTube. I've been on YouTube fucking shit. 2007? So, 2012 for me, but my ver- my first video was... Other at- than the beta testing before that. Yeah. But officially being on videos, 2007. Come on, give me a break. I'm no newbie. My first video on YouTube was in, in April of 2008. And it was a Twitter for Truth 9-11 video. Right. That was my first video. Right. It's all a complex and nefarious plot to keep Shanny down. It is. Fucking expose me. What are you going to expose? A woman who fucking kicked a drug dealer out of the house. A, 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 a woman who fucking slapped her husband with a fucking sex toy. God. You're exposed. I'm so exposed. Exposed, exposed, exposed. I ain't fucking trying to hide anything. I don't give a fuck. And I'm not a perpetual victim either. I never said I was a fucking victim. Just because I'm telling you stories about my life doesn't make me a fucking victim. I'm just telling you a story, honey. Yeah. Fucking retard. Senorita Tom Servals. Oh, I wish I could breathe. My ga- grandpa was an amazing and hard working man. Mine was too, man. My 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 grandfather worked for GE for over 40 years. 40 years my grandpa freaking worked for GE. And before that he was a navy man. He was amazing. Uh, exactly, Angie Lee. Slapped hubby with a sex toy. Exactly. Exactly. Imagine getting arrested for a sex toy. I did. It says it even in the police report. It's a sex whip. <laughs> you, you know, and y'all want me to suffer for my past crimes, but I've already done the time for my past crimes. So why should I continue to suffer if I actually did what I legally had to in order to pay for my crimes. You see what I mean? What is up to you to be my fucking judge and jury and executioner? Executioner. Who the fuck are you other than some fat man who can't wear a fucking shirt, who's balding, smelly, and sweaty? Who just goes, huh, huh. You just have a whole legion of fucking morons surrounding you. You don't scare me. You're no different than any other fucking moron on the internet. Fuck you, drag. Fucking expose me. I don't give a fuck. I'm not a fucking afraid of you. You're a fucking loser, dude. 
You'll always be a fucking loser, and you know you're always going to be a fucking loser. Because you can't treat anyone with fucking respect. It's always, I'm better than you. I exposed you. Blah, blah, blah. And you always put this, like, fake scenario in people's mind that I'm trying to hide something. And no, I just don't want to talk about the stupid bullshit that you keep bringing up because you can't seem to get over your PTSD because you're crazy. It's not my fault you need therapy and you refuse to go to it. So fuck you, drag. Fuck you. This is more proof you're a targeted individual. They arrested you for a sex toy. Disgusting. I know, right? Right? I don't want to make my channel about you, so please stop trying to bring yourself up in the audience. Because I don't give a fuck about you. I want you out of my life, but apparently you have some kind of obsession with me and you just got to keep on going. And I don't want you to keep on going. I want to be left alone. I want to be a schlumpy fucking middle-aged woman talking the way I want to because I fucking want to. And Angie Lee, she fucking adores me. Love you, girl. <sighs> <sighs> Like, you think someone talks like this and acts like this and hasn't gone through shit and all you're telling me is, like, all my shit isn't real. Like, how do you think someone gets an attitude like this and not go through anything? i just wondering. I'm just wondering, what psychological analysis do you have upon that? Is someone who's never had anything, but, you know. I have CPTSD. I can be crazy, too. To my drama... Drama trauma hags. I love you girls. My trauma hags. Because <laughs> see, that's what you're seeing. You're dealing with a woman who has had way too much fucking trauma. And she's fucking tired of people's bullshit. And, and that, that is where I am in life. And if you have a problem with it, suck my dick. You know? Okay, have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Not sure what the help needed is. Take care. You know? And you keep saying that I'm going to leave Jason after the money wears out. And that's not fucking true. Because I know if we run out of money, guess what my ass is going to have to do? Work. And why would I want to give a give up a man who will help me work, who will help me, and, and, and you know, uh, not to mention a man that I love, more importantly. But, but you think if the money runs out, I'm going to leave him. Why? I was I was I was married to Chris and he was fucking piss poor. I didn't leave him because of money. He left me. Maybe deal with your trauma instead of taking it out on everyone else. What makes you think I'm taking my trauma on anyone else? I'm not. You the guys who's saying smart ass fucking stupid things and not expecting it to be responded back to you. Dumbass. Like, seriously, man. I'm not a narcissist. I'm not a narcissist at all, dude. But you guys keep fucking saying this shit and hoping that it sticks and it's like, dude, you're miss fucking labeling me. Like, you could call me the, all these other fucking, like, mental health things, but I keep fucking telling you I'm BPD. Like, why is that so hard to believe that I'm BPD? <laughs> why?
why is it so hard that to to acknowledge that I have PTSD? Why is that so hard to acknowledge? Why are you always throwing my mental health in my face? You know, I can say whatever the fuck I want. I don't give a fuck anymore about anyone or anything at this point. Because everything has been invalidated of mine. So I might as well just talk my head off if I want to. Because I want to fucking talk. I spent two months of my life just being fucking completely silent and not talking to anyone, not even my husband. And it causes furious anger with him to think that I hated him. And I love him. I love him, man. Blessed Bible Fight Club. Oh my god, that sounds glorious. I love that. Yeah, I have CPTSD and they don't think it's that. They try to diagnose me all the time. Like, don't they know when someone is very sensitive? And, 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 and when you, you say an insult to them, they pop back at you real fast. Why in your right mind can you not see the trauma behind that? Jason, yeah. can you turn this down a little bit? <laughs> Jesus, it's blasting, bro. Are you <laughs> deaf? I'm sorry. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Can someone tell me why black leggings are so stinking comfortable to put on? I'm so fucking bloated, bros. Not even the bottle things up either. Communication is important. Exactly, Bobby. Hey, man. Baby. Hey, puppy. I love you. Mm. Mm. That's my name. Mm. See, you can't fake that. Mm. I love you. I love you more than anything that I could love. God, the Swarovskis. They're so pretty. I love my Swarovskis. We're going to get you tons of them. Do you know who sent me a very useful link for you? What? Jules. What? Jules. On Smuel. She said, okay, it looks like you should be buying your girl some shit. Ah! Uh -huh. And she gave me a link to Swarovski stuff. BPD won't let me be... They try to shut me down on MTD, but it feels so empty without me. Na 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 na. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Smule. Oh my god, Shanny. Hey. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you people who think that Christians can't cuss and smoke and no, fucking can, act like asses. Yeah, we can't. They do on a daily basis. Yeah. You guys like to fucking point it out. And be like, they're not really Christian. Yeah, we are. We're human. We're human. Bro. We're saved by grace. We know we're sinners, dude. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, that picture. <laughs> I need Jesus because I can't help myself. I know. That's why I need Jesus, because I can't help myself. I have the same way. Wow, that's crazy how many views that got. Oh my god, that's insane. My mom had BPD. How did you turn out, by the way? I'm just curious on my son's yeah. account. Now, I heard, I've heard children come out and say that Children whose parents right. have BPD, they say they're the best parents. Because they allow you to be who you are, <clears throat> and they care about your feelings. <laughs> what? Just me. What you laughing about? Myself. I'm sorry. I'm sending this picture to myself. This fucking thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god. I look like the baby Wookiee. Like, what is happening in that picture? I love you. I love you. Love you. My princess. 
happy. Babies, you're my princess, and I love you. You're amazing. Here, save the photos, Jesus. You think Christian's <laughs> never seen Fight Club? I seen. Fight Club is one of my favorite movies. Dude, I love the theology behind Fight Club. The theology? Yeah. Theology. Yeah, or philosophy. Oh, philosophy. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, philosophy. I agree with a lot of it. I'm a Tyler Durden type, definitely. I, I'm a Joker type. Oh, I, trust me, that can't be faked. What can't be faked is unconditional love and devotion. That's correct. Are we not showing it? Yeah, we are. We are. I didn't go to Dragnaught, did I? No. And I never would. That would that would fucking... Devastate you, yeah. I would never do that, ever, to you. I might do it to somebody else to hurt him, but not you. Right. Not you, because I value you too much. I value you. That's, right. I, that's what I think people don't understand. They're Look like, at that. Bobby K, what he said what? about his mom with BPD. What? My mom was awesome. The strongest woman I have ever known. There you go. No one is perfect. We are all sinners. See, that's how children with BPD are. That's right. They know their their mothers are strong because they see their parents suffer. That's how Will's going to talk, and that's how Zach will talk when they're of age. Mm -hmm. Look at this fucking arm. Look at that shit. Wow. Because people with BPD... Wow. And if you have children, they, they see what people do to them. Yeah. The children see it. And they see how their mothers react and try to stay strong. Thank you, Bobby, for that. You're beautiful. Yeah, bless you. Thank you for that. Bless you, Bobby. I'm wicked. I don't have to worry about the sinner thing because I don't answer the same God. I don't worry about the sinning thing because I know Jesus Christ took my sins at the cross. I don't worry about it at all. He forgave me for all the sins I do now, forever, well, and forevermore. Well, I have one comment. I have one comment on witches, and that's it. What? Because I'm just going to state it. I used to talk about this back in the day, but not anymore. I have an affinity to witches. I'm attracted to them. Do you have to bring that up? No, you were a witch. I'm attracted to you. I'm not saying it's a good thing. It seemed like it was a come on right there, but anyway. No, um, it's, it's, no. It's for you. Because I ended up with you. You're guilty of envy. Wait, wait, wait. What are, what are these guilt? I'm gu uh, what are these things I'm I'm guilty for? Uh, Catholic sins. Envy? Uh, no, I don't want what others have. Two thousand views. Huh. Envy? I don't want what others have. Gluttony? I don't overeat. No. Greed? I don't. I don't. I don't. No, you're not. Lust for money at you all. Don't covet. Lust? What lust? I don't. Search out f sex, pride. I'm as humble as you could probably met. Sloth. Uh, no, cause when I can move, I do move. Yeah, that's true. And wrath. I am not a wrathful pe person because I literally tell people to be better and not do that. See ya in hell. You're less than pious. I'm not anything you said I was. All you did was look up the seven deadly sins, type them out, and try to apply it to me. That was stupid and amateur at best. That's what an amateur would do. Try again at trying to get to a Christian. Anyway. <laughs> it's an avocado. I'm doing the pouty lips. <laughs> right? I do the pouty lips, Shanny. You know why? Thank you, Colossus. No, you don't overeat. No, I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you know, they said... I can never finish a meal. Actually, 
This was the first meal I actually think I finished. They said. But no, I didn't. You had half my fries. Yeah, I did. People said that you, you eat less than Ashley lit when she gets lit. When Ashley gets lit, she like yeah. chows down. Yeah. She, they're like, you eat way less than Ashley ever. Like Right. Ha! So there you go for Angry that. Roach, let's get high and play the Ouija board. Ugh. No, I'm not going to play the Ouija board. Witchcraft is dumb. Just go talk to Jesus. He's much better than that shit. Why would I want to use the Ouija board yeah. to communicate with demons? When they're constantly fucking in my dreams. And I'm fighting them constantly. No, I don't need the Ouija board to contact fucking demons. Thank you very much. No. They come to me. Uh, yeah. I'm one of those people, you, you, you know, you know. I don't know that guy. And I, I, I know Paul and I know Peter, but I don't know who you are. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I'm one of those people that demon would know. They'd be like, oh, yeah, I know who you are. <coughs> I know Shannon. Oh, I know Shannon. Fought her a couple times. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with her. Elijah. I breathe fire out of my mouth, and it hurts people. Do you know the prophet Elijah called down fire from heaven? Elijah wielded the fire of God. That's Shannon. You like uh, you like Kratom? I don't like the taste of Kratom. It is awful. It makes me want to vom. Kratom? Yeah. I like the way it feels sometimes. Serene Meadows. I rarely see Shanny eat on stream, and I'm one of her biggest fans. Exactly. I don't eat a lot. No. You need to lose 70 pounds. Salads. Salads. Salads are the best, and it helps you with um, your heart, which is why I eat a lot of salads, is my heart. I'm trying to keep myself alive. Yeah. Ha <laughs> uh, Kanishi 5 Vainglory of Pride. I don't have that. To no, greed or covetousness. I don't have that. Don't Lust. Have Listen, or, can we stop with the Inquisition, folks? Like, seriously. Jesus Christ, you're free in Jesus. I don't have this shit. You're free. And they ain't even real sin sins in the Bible anyway. <laughs> well, stop, lust is, and pride is, and greed is. But, but they're not sin. Like, Listen, <laughs> the seven deadly sins are not in the Bible. They're not in the Bible. It's not biblical. That's no. a Catholic thing. It's Catholic. That's, that comes from it's this, the actually. It's the yeah. This I is think. what the seven deadly yeah, sins comes from. exactly. It is. That's where the seven deadly sins come from. That's correct. Show them the back of that. It's sick. Oh, yeah. Look at the back. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a codex. Look, look how beautiful the, this version of Dante's. It's amazing. The Divine Comedy what a is like, look at, that. Look, at, look at that, that's just gorgeous. That's a gorgeous publication. Did you get that from Target? Yeah. No, I didn't. I We found it at that special website with leather-bound uh, classical yeah, books. Yeah, and we got all of them. I'm so glad we got them. Look at oh, that, it comes with that. the illustrations. That's amazing. But no, this is where the seven deadly sins comes from. The yeah, Divine Comedy Dante by Dante Alighieri. It's not Yahweh, um, folks, it ain't God. It's Dante Alighieri. Fuck. People know nothing. I love poetry, and this is written like poetry. Jason Avocados, folks. But y uh, you want to point out the seven deadly sins? It comes from here. It doesn't come from the Bible. Right. So. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. Do we have that straight? I hope so. Oh my god. I hope. I hope so. I really hope so, folks. Can't do it anymore. The Target ones was the Wizard of Oz and the Peter Pan and the Robin Hood from FAO Swartz. Yeah. I have them here. They're beautiful, too. The Wizard of Oz, FAO Swartz. These, these are from huh? these are from Target. See, only at Target. Nice there were a Target know. FAO Swartz like okay. exclusive. Um, huh? I love classical books. They're amazing. Shanny has beautiful feet. 
I love Shani's feet. I'm a smoker. I'm a toker. No. I'm a smoker. I'm a joker. I'm a midnight toker. Shout out to Angry Grandma. We want to see Judy. He seems much happier being back. I'm not controlling him. No. We made up. We decided to go to counseling and fix our relationship and not hate each other yeah. for you guys. Exactly. For everybody. Oh, I hate it. I gotta get the I wanna get this loose skin off. So do I. Let's, yeah, let's do it like, together. Look at I got this big giant thing. You right need here. a lit. You need a full. And this might might yeah. be this Shanny, skin right here. Okay, look, you lost three hundred and fifty fucking pounds. Yeah. Okay? She lost three hundred and fifty pounds fucking pounds folks you need a full body lift and we're doing it we're gonna get your new teeth and we'll get you a full body lift how's that because you've changed your eating habits completely haven't you yeah you don't even really well i did have the quarter pounder yesterday no that's fine that you can do that though that's fine because i've been doing mostly just salads mostly salads you can you can have a whopper a, uh, a week really a week. yeah you can have a walk for a week and be okay. But for my excuse, I am on my period, and I've been bruising really bad. Yeah, I know you have. So I need me. Yeah, you do. Serene Meadows, the counseling will do wonders. You guys stay strong. Exactly. We're doing We're doing. Yeah. It. We're partners, man. You're going to counseling for us? No, we're not going to break up for you guys. Oh, my God, no. I want to get my tattoos, man. I'm sick of not. We having want. He 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 liked hearing into my counseling. Yeah, he did a, a couple times. Sure, a couple times because I'm not even supposed to be there. That's private. And I did mostly. I put headphones on or I go downstairs. You know. I need yeah. To, I need to respect the other women too. And that means getting out, or not listening. You know, uh -huh. your counseling sessions. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, sometimes I was there, but I had headphones on. I was listening to music, folks, or YouTube videos. How tall am I? I'm you're tall. I'm 5'11". Yeah, you're 5'10 and a half. Yeah. At least. You're 5'10 and a half. You're taller than me. When we're on our feet, Shani's taller than me because I'm I'm a roughly a five nine and a half or five ten normally, and Shani is five ten and a half. She's five eleven, you could say. Right. She's five eleven. Amazon strong woman, very strong. Right. Mm -hmm. I have kisses. I love you. Uh, yeah, that's how I've been losing weight. Is just cutting soda. Yeah, soda. Cut in soda, yeah. That's a big one. Like, there's no Dr. Pepper in this house. No, there's not. Flip. Is that you? That's me. What? Cash app. Oh, 10% off. Door, DoorDash. Uh, oh, my God, folks, on my Cash app. Do you want to hear Do you want to hear how sick Cash app is? I will, I will pimp this app all day. This is Cash app. I'll show you my Cash app. That's my Cash app. You gotta get this if you don't have it. I have seven hundred and some dollars in liquid cash. This is just in one account. Okay, so do you know how awesome this is, folks? You have to activate the boost on your card, on your account. But I have Bitcoin now. Look at that shit. I have nine dollars and thirty six cents in Bitcoin. What? Cash app is the shit. You can buy stocks and everything. Von Helton, get Cash App. I think the Christians prayed for us. You think? To stay together. Because that's what I really wanted. Oh my God, see what God's If you need someone to talk to, I'm around. Who said that? Thanks, JD. It's JD Kane. It's JD Kane. Oh. Hi, th thanks, JD. I give a shout out, Talking Shit Tuesday. You know. Thank you, JD. He expressed concern, folks. J.D. Kane. Thanks, J.D. Me and Shani are happy, and we're going to work on a relationship. That's it. Yep. We're happy, basically. It's just we do have issues, and we're going to uh, work them out. 
Why'd you have to bring up the Baja Blast? We don't even like Baja Blasts anymore. I, I hate them. I, I don't even like going to Taco Bell anymore because of that. Exactly. Doesn't that make you Pikachu cringe? Crown. Doesn't that make you cringe Taco Bell, even here in Taco Bell? No. But just I Baja have, Blast. You know why? Why? Because I have too many good memories of Taco Bell with my mom. <laughs> That'll never be... The smell of the inside of Taco Bell, I love it. Okay? Like, I have a lot of good memories of Taco Bell. But the Baja Blast part of it, I hate Baja Blast. It makes me want to vomit. I eat salads. A lot of salads. Tortillas. I love... You eat... Look, a lot, most of your diet is like tortillas, and it, that's it. And I like eating... Uh, also, with me, I like eating a lot of turkey and chicken. The chicken breast and turkey, just that's all, just chicken breast or chick or turkey breast. Um, I love I love uh, eating a lot of uh, fruit and chia seed pudding. And if you don't know what chia seed pudding, it is literally I think a one third cup of almond milk or coconut milk to two tablespoons of chia seeds. And then you can add like berries or something to it. It's so good. Jason. Yeah? Chia seed pudding. I love it. Well, I... Uh. And I eat a lot of Aussie bowls. And so a lot of fruits and vegetables with a little bit of protein. And um, I, I prefer that diet. I crave that diet. And I'm not really into junk food anymore. At all. Jimmy John's. You know? Mm. Four fried chickens is my favorite salad too. I didn't, did I say fried chicken? I said little chicken breast or turkey breast. You know, white meat? White meat. Not fried. My God. You KFC queen. But that's what I eat. Queen of KFC. I need to eat more, more protein and less carbs. Yeah. My body, see, this is how lucky I am genetically. Uh, mostly I'm cursed genetically, okay? Mostly cursed because I am an Anglo-Saxon and we destroyed the planet, the Anglo-Saxons. So God judged our genetics. That's facts. Anyway, my body thrives on carbs. Potatoes, rice, thrives on it. Pasta. Sorry. Go ahead. Huh? You okay? I was letting you rage. No, I'm okay. Go ahead. What were you talking about? Oh, my body thrives on carbohydrates because of my genetics. Rice, potatoes. Thrives. Yep. My body actually becomes extremely lean and muscular when I eat I'm that. not a big potato fan. Right, which is fine. Because you love pasta. I love pasta, you yeah. Love pasta. But I don't eat a lot of pasta. Hey, bada bing, you know? Hmm? No, they said I look like the Fonz in the jacket, you know? That's just Fonzie. Not racist against the town. Stop eating bread and sugar. I don't, I literally just said I don't eat a lot of pasta. What makes you think I eat a lot of bread? I don't. Do you know the mostly what she eats, folks? I just said what I ate mostly. Yeah, but this is what you've been eating lately. Steamed vegetables from the microwave. Yeah, I've been doing uh -huh. that too. The steamers. And rice. And rice. And Have you ever awesome. had ripe strawberries with dark chocolate? It's super good. Yeah. Ah. That is so good. I love that stuff. I could survive on nothing but corn. I love corn. Corn is awesome. And when I eat like that, no meat and shit, 
or if I add salmon, then I get muscle, muscular. Uh, my body changes into no body fat. None. Ugh. Zero almost body fat. Right. And I look fantastic and I feel fantastic. That's my goal is feeling good. Because I'm 36. I'm not fucking just a young kid no more. Like, maybe Drag wants to stay with you because he wants to rape you. Oh, my God, Shannon. Holy creepy. shit. Okay. Ugh. All right. He's obsessed over us. Yeah, well, there's there's something like that for all these people. A lot of them. A lot of these people. They have an obsession with, with you. It's mainly you. I don't know why. There's nothing to obsess about. I'm just an opinionated, loud woman. That's all. In this costume, I have to sing uh, Here I Go Again on My Own. Yep. The hair. I've tried only bud, LSD, shrooms, and alcohol. I'm getting too old to experiment. Yeah. Dude, I've never tried LSD or shrooms, but I totally wonder how shrooms would be like. Well, I'll tell you what individuals... They're do. legal here, so... Yeah, I'll tell you something that's completely legal that... If I ever get the chance. I, Sorry. Yeah. a great high out there that's completely legal it's a little bit expensive though okay and you can get it at most liquor stores now you gotta try the green fairy once my husband is not being abused no i'm fine dude we're just gonna go to marriage counseling he never was abused by me 70. yes there are certain bucks. things that I do that are toxic, but there are certain things he do that is toxic. Yeah, that's And this right. is something we have to work out. That's correct. But this has nothing to do with you. Mind your own fucking business. Stop being a little whore and trying to get in my husband's pants. I'm not going to listen. He's I'm not going to go for you. No, because I love Shani. Do you get that, folks? I love. I actually love her, and that's what I keep trying to tell these people that are like, "Man, you could do a lot better than this chick." Whatever. I, no, I can't do better than her. You know why? Because I love this fucking woman. I love her. I would die for her and her children in a second if it meant her life or Will or Zach. I would die now for them to live. All of them. I would die in a second. Mm. That's love. Jesus Christ. Do you know what Jesus said? He said that there's no greater love than when a friend gives up his life for his friends. Exactly. For when a man gives his life for his friends. That's the greatest love. I would die for any one of them in a second. Not even a second. Oh my God, Will's life is in danger. Take my life. Oh my God, Zach's life is in danger. Take my life. Oh my God, Shanny's life is in danger. Take my life. That's that's it. That's love. I love her. That's it. I don't know why you have a hard time with that. Because they don't want you to have it. No, I can't be happy. I have to be miserable all the time. Why, though? Who the fuck mandated that Shanny for Christ has to be fucking miserable? Who mandated that? Your mother? Who voted you? Hey, hey, Betty, who the fuck voted for your daughter to be the most persecuted woman on the planet? Who voted for that? I didn't. You want to get really fucking, you want to get real, Betty? I think you're out there spreading lies again about Shanny because she's starting to get popular. You're seeing our views. Go My views and followership has gone insane. Reverend Dude, you get it? Like we're 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 f list f list freaking celebrities, folks. It's crazy, and, and it's you're not gonna be able to stop it. No anymore. No matter how much you want to expose me. No. Shanny, for Christ, is nothing that people have made her. And I can attest to that because I've lived with her for three years as her husband now. Okay? 
Uh, look at this. Jason, you're a cuck. Okay. You can call me a cuck if you want to. A cuck for what? I don't tell him what to do. No, I'm not a cuck because you know why? First of all, I, I technically, I am not a cuck. I have never once paid for my wife to be fucked by another man and watch it. That A cuck is a male... Oh, sorry. sorry about this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my ear. No, I apologize. That's really rude. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I love you. I'm really sorry. Shanny, I'm sorry. Could you give me a kiss? I'm sorry. I love you. You're so pretty. I'm going to take a screenshot from this video. I don't feel pretty. I feel disgusting. I'm taking a screenshot of this. A duck wonton crisps. Fried wonton triangles served with sweet and spicy mango duck salad. Mango duck salad. Yep. That's fancy. Pepper molasses beef. Pepper molasses? Pepper molasses beef crostini. Toasted crostini smeared with gorgonzola cream topped with sweet and spicy peppered molasses beef tenders and sweet and tangy red onion jam. Yeah. All right. Wow, that's fancy shit, though. Devils on horseback. Dates stuffed with almonds ba wrapped in bacon, baked with cr until crispy, Topped with maple whiskey glaze on a bed of arugula. This English, arugula. yeah, this English sweet and savory delight will leave you wanting more. You, the MS, like it's Penis. fucking up my speech. We're gonna get you good doctors. Okay. Baby, that's my girl. Tuna pokey cups. Oh, I love tuna pokey. I'm not a fan. Tuna pokey with Asian slaw on wonton cup served with wasabi mayo. Wasabi! A classic Hawaii Hawaiian preparation. Pokey is a salad of cubed raw fish marinated in sesame oil and soy sauce. He's not a big fan of it. I love pokey. I don't like pokey. Oh, you would like this. Root Signature Sensation Spice Chicken Satay. Oh, so no. It's me. fake chicken. What? Isn't satay fake Vegan chicken? Vegan chicken? Satay? No, satay is our, uh, a name for, for chicken on a skewer. Satay. Oh, skewers of chicken breast marinated in olive oil huh. and our signature international spice blend Sensation Baked. What? And then dressed with sweet and spicy arbol agave nectar sauce. Sick. Sounds yummy. You gotta get it. Caprese. Oh, fuck. Caprese Polenta Napoleon. Caprese Napoleon. Polenta. Polenta. Polenta cake, fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, balsamic glaze, polenta squares sandwiched with fresh mozzarella, basil, tomato, and balsamic reduction. A light and refreshing summer appetizer. The term polenta originates from the Latin word meaning peeled barley. Okay. That's pretty cool. And they um, have a vegan one. A vegan one. Oh, that's <laughs> you. Herb crusted goat cheese. Toasted herbed crostini smeared with local haystack chevrey goat cheese. Chevrey? Yeah. G goat cheese is my favorite. Topped with a dollop of fig jam and fresh rosemary sprig. That sounds really nice. Mac, wow. mac and cheese fritters. Hey, wait a minute. I just I just figured that out. This is like barefoot Contessa food. You know that? Mm. You be my honey forever, Abigail. <laughs> Chitty. God, I love you. You want to talk about real and not fake, those kisses. That's that's it. It's the real deal. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Sorry. This thing is like, whoa. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's obscene. I got to, like, sit down, I think. Yeah. Mm, Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's a really Roots. good kiss. Oh, you'd like this. Root Signature Gluten-Free Cauliflower Quesadilla. Cauliflower. Spiced cauliflower 
mozzarella cheese and corn tortilla quesadilla served with our house homemade salsa. That sounds awesome. They also have samosas. Okay. With a mint cilantro chutney. Mmm. Potato croquettes. Croquettes of. They have they have Satan Satan weeds weens. Satan. Satan. Uh yeah. Fake chicken. That's good actually. I like Satan or say uh Satan. Yeah. Whatever you say. Satan. It's Satan. Oh like, my like, God! Listen to how freaking awesome these entrees are. Let's eat some Satan. You're gonna you're gonna drool when you hear this. All right. Hibiscus lamb chops. Hibiscus lamb chops. Colorado town ounce with bone lamb chops with hibiscus glaze, truffle whipped potatoes and asparagus. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. So probably be very like saffron like taste. Maybe. I would assume. I'd try it. I'm not eating meat though. Beef chimichurri. Mm. Caramel coffee pork. What? Wow. Oh. Pork loin rubbed in our signature international spice blend sensation. Caramel coffee sauce. Tandoori cauliflower. Turmeric fondant potatoes. Fondant? Infinite harvest cilantro microgreens. Ooh, oh, ooh. I know, man. I think I would eat Indian food every day if I could. Like, that would be the cuisine. Oh, oh my God. Indian. This is an Italian Indian, like, fucking, like. Infusion? Infusion, yeah. Paneer Parmesan fettuccine. Ooh. Fettuccine tossed in house-made marinara, paneer Indian cheese, oh. grilled vegetables, and herbed oil. Oh, that would be so good. That would be so flipping good. Italian Indian. And you can, re and you can take away the fettuccine noodles what, what's the name and of instead use vegan eggplant fettuccine noodles. Wow, that's awesome. Hey. What? What is the name of this restaurant, if you don't mind me? Roots. Roots. Indian Italian fusion cuisine. Yes. Wow. They have a lot of vegan food. That's cool. As Here's shit. another vegan thing: M mushroom bell pepper Napoleons, the grilled portobello mushroom and red bell pepper Napoleons, garlic turmeric mashed potatoes, and fenugreek polenta. Oh my! Fenugreek polenta. Yes. Yummy. Oh. This place is awesome. Yeah, that place kicks ass. Italian Indian fusion. I never seen that in a restaurant. I know, man. Oh, and they also have their own special fish and chips. Nice. But instead of regular chips, it's waffle fries. Waffle fries. Fish and chips with waffle fries. Now bro. you're speaking my fucking language. Fish and chips for me is tops. It works for me. Oh, <coughs> they're desserts. Oi! Roots signature dessert. Deconstructed dessert art. Caramel nest atop basil blackberry swirl ice cream. Oh. And Roots signature herb shortbread cookie. What? Stop. Basil blackberry ice cream? Nope, stop it. Oh. Shanny, hey, enough. That sounds heavenly. This is the point where Johnny would get pissed, you know. Chef Madhu's epic bread pudding. Have you ever thought of the possibility that I'm just a dream in your head? I'm not even a real entity. I'm like Johnny Silverhand. I have thought have that. Have you thought I, that's possible? I have thought it is. It is possible that I lost Chris, lost my mind, and Killed formed yourself. no formed you as a delusion in my mind and I'm really a single mother living my own life. Oh my god. And I don't that's really know possible, it. possible actually. And I'm just really talking to a thing and everyone's saying But did you realize real. that's possible because Johnny is like... No, Johnny is a delusion in V's head though. Kind of. Because people can't see Johnny. Right? Yeah, people cannot see Johnny. Right? Shani. Hey. Like I'm serious about this. In Cyberpunk 2017... Yeah, no, they can't see Johnny, no. Only V sees him, right, and hears him. Right? Yeah. 
But but what's her name? Judy gets sensitive to your spirit, or somebody does, and they start hearing Johnny. Something like that. Coconut creme brulee ice cream. Coconut creme brulee ice cream with mango sauce and caramel lace tools. What? Yes. That sounds amazing. Oh my god. Do you know that this is the best jacket I've ever owned? I know. It's it fits me perfectly. Chocolate tort trio. Chocolate tort with tin cup whiskey and pistachio oh. brittle ice cream. Stop. That's and triggering. candy pistachio crumble. That's really triggering though. Oh. Like I would love shots of Wild Turkey 101 right now. And then they have something called Bacon Me Crazy, and it's a waffle with maple whiskey ice cream and candy oh, bacon. Oh, maple whiskey ice cream. And candy bacon. Mm. I can't even hear this. This one. place is amazing. Just hearing what's in it makes me gain weight, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I hear the menu and I've gained like five pounds. It's true. Ooh! A grilled peach salad. Grilled peaches, arugula, vegan cheese, blueberries, house-made candy pe pecans, and citrus vinaigrette. Yes. Oh, that sounds so yummy. That sounds very good. Ooh, a tropical salad. Mixed greens, mangoes, grapes, kiwi, toasted coconut, cilantro, mango vinaigrette. Yeah. Mango vinaigrette. Hell yeah. Oh. That sounds amazing, babe. <gasps> yes! What? Grilled watermelon boat salad. Oh my god, we're eating watermelon. That's racist. Watermelon slices drizzled with our signature international spice blend sensation. Sweet beet vinaigrette and microgreens. Oh, yum. Wow. That sounds awesome, though, actually. I know. That sounds amazing. I'm getting... So I know you're getting hungry. hungry. Go ahead. I don't know. This place is freaking amazing. This is an amazing place, bros. Jesus Christ. You... <laughs> wow. Whatever, man. Tipco. Holy shit, the views on that are insane. Wow. <laughs> what if we're all hallucinating the same vision? Dude. Uh, what, uh, okay. Mass hallucination. We can talk philosophy. It's Brahma. The god Brahma, the theory on him is that he is God and his dream is our lives. He's dreaming reality. Brahma. I like that idea. It's really cool. That's a cool God idea. Mm -hmm. Reality is just God's dream. I really like that idea. It's neat. I don't want to be God's dream. I want to be real. You want to be you. Exactly. Well, you are. That's the thing. I'm not saying it's true. It's just a cool sci-fi idea. Think about that. Like, it's Avatar, but it's actual... The only reality is God's dream. That's awesome. <sighs> what the hell happens to us when, when he wakes up? That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe you start seeing fucking dragons and stuff in the sky. Because the reality is, is that dragons exist and all that. That is true. I love you. Dragons exist. The only, I love you too. The only thing you need to worry about if you ever find a dragon in the sky and it visits you like it did me in the cloud about... 50 feet away from you? Yeah, that happened to me. And I don't care if people call me crazy or a liar. It happened. Baby, you're not crazy. You're beautiful. You call me crazy for this. Anyway. Huh? It, ha it happened. When, while she was at, in jail, God showed me a lot of stuff. He did. Oh! Crazy stuff. Ow. But uh, having to do with Trump and a space mask, and he and Elon Musk gets him on some space station, and he's got a forty-five Magnum in his hand, ready to blow <laughs> his <own> head off. <laughs> Stuff is gonna get crazy. Is it, baby? Yeah. Space stations with Trump on it, and he's gonna blow his own head off. Can I be cuddled and loved? Yes, 
for eternity. You got that. Okay. It's forever. I need it. Oh, uh, what was I talking about? It's gone. I'm sorry. I made you forget. Yep. That's fine. I apologize. Here's your hot pink lighter. It kicks ass. Am I an evil person? No, you're not evil at all. Actually. There's, I mean, there's, there. you have two pink lighters here now. I'm going to take one hit from this. Or maybe you two. Mmm. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. <coughs> <coughs> she's so pretty, folks. She's my girl. Beppy. She's my girl, and she's so pretty. I love her. I want to try this K Botana. It's all Mexican. Look, okay. K Botana. K Botana. Yeah, look okay. how good their food looks. Looks real good. It's all fresh fruits. Mm, yum. Dan Bongino. Oh, God. He's crazy. He's nuts. He's legit nuts. You can see it in his eyes. He's too many roids. Yeah. I feel sad for him, man. Dan B? Dan Bongino? Yeah. He wants us to worship law enforcement. He's out of his mind. Like, he's a Hitler-esque type individual. He's out of his mind. Yeah. I think he's supposed to be Christian, so he needs to repent. Does he? Yeah, they have a spirit of delusion, the Trumpers. Alex Jones has a spirit of delusion. Craziness. They need to repent. And I admitted this already. Marianne from Gilligan's Island died of COVID? Oh my God, what? I hate oh, 2020. COVID is garbage, man. I don't know what it is. Come on over. Come on over, baby. I hate 2020. It's done nothing but ruin lives and kill people. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's dumb. And made every single one of us fucking batshit insane. It hasn't aided in, uh, whatever. Fucking hate 2020. It's a, not a good year. Can we retire 2020 and I, just tell it to go to fucking hell and burn? I'd like that. I need that. To the lake of fire with you, 2020. That's dog shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, 2020. Isn't this the last day of 2020? Is it? Think, Holy shit, it's New Year's tomorrow? I think it might be. Oh, that's <laughs> sick. Good. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve bash, folks. With the Reverend Dude. I'll do the bash for you, folks. Wow. What a lovely mess you've made. I am a m lovely mess. You're a beautiful mess. You're a beautiful mess. Am I? Yes, you're a beautiful designer. Oh, wait, no. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. <laughs> Tomorrow's New Year's Eve, yeah. Right? Yeah. We're going to kiss at the, at the gong. Bong, bong, mm, my love. Should get some, like, fake champagne. Yeah. Osti Spamante is delicious shit. My mom loved that. I love Osti Spamante. Eskimo kisses. You look like a beautiful teddy bear. I look awful. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I think you're sexy as hell. All the, always. Cute little nose. Cute little mouths. Beautiful teeth. I love you. I love you. You're beautiful. I agree. 2021 will probably be worse. I know, because we're in tribulation right now. Yep. The whole world is under great tribulation. The There's no fucking doubt we're not in the tribulation right now. Mm-hmm. And there's wars, there's war, rumors of wars, there's earthquakes fucking everywhere. Yes. Jesus. That's so good. Everyone loves themselves and they're hating on each other. The love of many has waxed cold completely. Yep. That's true. Twenty twenty sucks. Every couple not used to being stuck together twenty four seven has had problems. You guys are not alone. Thank you, Celeste. Thanks, Celeste. 
At least some people fucking understand it that we're stuck in a goddamn house together. Well, that's our Celeste. Yeah. Hi, Celeste. And it, there's not much space where we separate. Yeah. No. We got a house. And you want to do some things that are different than me, and I want to do some things different than me, and it clashes. Sometimes. Sometimes, sure. Celeste has a dude. She knows. it's it, it, she, Fights happen sometimes, for fuck's sake. They just do. They happen sometimes. So what? I didn't say it was the rapture. I said it was tribulation. There is a difference. There is a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> a big difference. I ain't calling the rapture. No one calls the rapture no, not but the even, Father. Well, yeah, not even Jesus can call that. Not even the Son knows, he said, the hour that that will happen. The, 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 the resurrection of the dead and then the transfiguration of all believers into whatever we're going to become. Do I, hap do I hope it happens tonight? Fuck yeah. Always. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go every day. I want to go home. And Jesus gave me a message when I was uh, at the beginning of the wet brain. As I was going into just like, wow, the wet brain shit. Uh, he gave me a message. I stared at the sun for like 30 minutes straight. And I saw an image in the sun. And it was a hand within a hand in a shake type situation. Like hands like this. And his message to me was this, just when things happen, because they're going to, take my hand. That's it. So remember that, when shit gets really crazy and like the sun is going to go out and shit like that, crazy. I uh, Just take his hand. Because if you call for Jesus, can I have your hand, Lord, he's going to take you. Yep. That's it. Poppies. Oh my god, Shanny's so cute. I love you. I love you. Poppies. Mm. I love you. See, that's how we are normally. Baby talk. Drag not made fun of the baby talk. It's beautiful. Baby talk is. Oh my god. Jesus fuck Celeste. What? <laughs> Oh boy, our fights, you guys are yet to vault over an eight foot fence using a tree Jesus. to get away from a fight. So you Oh go. my god! What? Bless you. Holy fuck. God bless you, man. Jesus. Yeah, we don't go that far. We haven't been there, no. No. Not even close. Jesus. I ran out the door a couple times, but that was for my own just my own uh, mental state. It didn't really have anything to do with Shani. I was just in a real bad mental state for a while, you know? But I'm mostly myself again, and I got my confidence back. I lost my confidence because I gained, like, I don't know, 30 pounds, I think, I gained. And I, I had no self-confidence anymore. I had this massive, disgusting, protruding gut, and I didn't even feel like myself anymore. I thought you were fine the way you I know, were. and I, I love... Yeah, that's how I feel about you. Your body is fine all the time to me. I, I think you're all... It's all beautiful. That's what I think. But anyway... Love you, Bobby. Thank you for your kind words. I got it back. You know, the confidence and all that stuff. Because, I, you know, I feel better. I'm starting to look good. It's like, yeah. I, like, like the Soundgarden song... Uh, I just looked in the mirror, things are looking so good, looking California, feeling Minnesota, that, that's the lyrics, okay, outshined, and that's about being a drug addict and your body's fall, starting to fall apart, you look pretty cool at the beginning, because you're thinned out and muscular and shit, but you're not feeling good because your body's dying. That's what that's about. I, I want to look California and feel California. And I'm pretty much almost there. <laughs> like, I, I, I like the way I look, feel, and yeah. <laughs> it's just good. 
But I have to treat this girl better. That's it, folks. I gotta treat the, the, the womanly situation, wifey situation way better. So that's what I'm gonna focus on, you know. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how I'm rocking myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm pretty confident and I like the way I feel and shit, you know? That's my progress report on shit. For life. If you're living life and you're not happy, then you're not doing life right. That's true. Yeah. Okay? That's just true. Reverend Dude gave his advice for the night, you know? Did you? Yeah. Johnny Silverhand's uh, cousin, you know? That's what it'll be. Johnny Silverhand's fucking cousin is the Reverend Doom. That's it. Wow, I think Johnny Silverhand's a freaking hero. Yeah, you mean my cousin? What? He's your cousin? Yeah, bro. Uh, no. I wish I were Keanu Reeves' cousin. That'd be the shit. Just call him up anytime. Hey, what's up, Keanu? Babies. Oh. He's a chill man guy. He is. He's a chill man guy. You know, that's what Keanu is. He don't want to step on no one's toes, you know. No. I tried to show you a picture of him on his typical day out, but you wouldn't look at the picture. I think you were mad at me at the time. I wish I could find the picture for you again, but Keanu, he was in sweatpants and a fucking beanie like hat. You were yelling, mad at me again. I, you were mad at me at the time. You, I think you were. <sighs> so now you know. Ooh, gets mystified. That's an interesting song, Outshined, by Soundgarden, the lyrics. Really? Show me the promised land. It's all about how, like, they want to attain all of this perfection in life, and Hollywood is nothing but drugs and stupidity. And you're going to look California. Yeah, you could look cool, but you're going to feel Minnesota. <laughs> and he uses the state of Minnesota for feeling shitty, because you believe that. My poor honey lived there. Jesus Christ, how long did you live in that hellhole of Minnesota? Seven years? Eight years? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Janie. No wonder your body hurts. It does. No wonder. Minnesota kicked my ass. God, you've been everywhere and you t chose Minnesota to put a fucking... I... What the hell? Let's be honest. I didn't choose Minnesota. Well, okay. how did you let your life take the shape that it had to be Minnesota then? What happened? I'd love to know that. Like, I've never talked to you about that type of stuff. It I was know. after I left Doug. Oh, after My dad left... lived in Minnesota. Really? Okay, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. When, when you left Doug, okay. Yeah. And what year did you leave him? Was what, 2007? Um, 2006? No, 2009. Mm. Wow, you gave him a lot of time to repent, didn't you? Yeah. You gave him time to yeah. repent of the drug use and stuff. Yeah. I, bet, I guarantee you, if you ask Doug today, he says, I regret it. I wish I cleaned up so much. I bet he says that. No, I doubt it, but... You doubt it? Well, you know him much better. I don't know him at all. So, yeah, you're probably right. Then You know him. Thank you, G-Man. <sighs> G-Man's like, people should stop butting into Rev and Shani's personal life. I agree. Thanks, G. Who the fuck are you guys telling someone to leave someone? Why would you do that anyway when I've told you on multiple occasions the truth, which is I have issues of anger. She's got her own stuff. I have said I'll never leave her, and it's true, because I love her. I have legit love. Like, Dragnot is smart, because he says... Can we, try pa can we try Papa John's stuffed crust? Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not eating anything. Okay. I'm not hungry. Uh... Dragnot is right about this thing. He says Rev and Shani will never leave each other. And I think I know why he says that, because he is betting on true love, because he believes we love each other. I think that's true. Okay? 
And Dragnot, if I'm wrong, you could correct me, okay? I'm just saying that's what it looks like. He's like, Rev and Shani will never break up. I think also he thinks we're both codependent on each other, and I think that's probably true. Oh, we're definitely codependent on her. But I'm other. happy with being codependent on her because I love her so much. It don't matter. I Like, she's everything to me. I, <laughs> that's it. Like, but see, we're codependent on each other because we didn't have anything when. Yeah, we're, we're all each other. We have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you only have Adam and Eve, it's Adam and Eve. That's it, huh? <laughs> there ain't no Lilith. That was a lie. It's not in the Bible. It's a lie. There's no Lilith. Okay, there was Adam and Eve perfection, and they were meant to what? They were meant to be in the garden and fuck and eat. That's it. They couldn't handle that. Jesus Christ, they couldn't handle even that. Adam and Eve's father Yahweh gave them an, a planet to eat and yeah. fuck and multiply. Yeah, Tammy, <laughs> that new COVID strain had to come to Colorado. What are you fucking kidding me? We're already in the fucking red, and they are in the fucking new strain that's killing people in fucking England came to fucking Colorado. I'm going to call up Jesus on my Fucking phone. stoner. I bet it was a stoner. Hey, I bet it was a stoner from England. Oh, I'm going to get some fucked up shit right now, hey? Hey? He are, he, he, hey, he, I'm going to call Jesus on the phone because I have him on speed dial. All right, I just called the Lord. All right, but uh, it's... It's on, not on speaker. I'm going to talk like that. Because I'm going to tell you something, all right? How is it that we only get one couple, Adam and Eve, right? Eve fucked it. Okay, and then Adam said, sure, I'll fuck it too. That's what happened. How it, I want to do Ooh, over. Dr. Pepper. Jesus is on the line. Thanks, Lord, for taking the call. I love you. He loves me too, of course. All right, I got a request. Could we get a do-over on this deal down here? Because I'm gonna, I just realized something. This is a court case. Right, Lord? You know that. You're the judge. You're just. Can I, I'm, I'm coming to the judge. All right, here it is, Jesus. I love you. Here it is. How is it that one couple destroyed the entire garden forever? How is it that just the, the sins of the Father are not supposed to be visited upon the Son, Jesus? Do you know who, whose fucking number came up when I did this joke? Shanny, look. What? Look at the top name. Clay Udally. <laughs> wow. Clay Udally is... He's an angel. Oh, I, you people are going to be like, he doesn't have Clay Udally's number. I yeah, he do. does. <laughs> I invested $50,000 with his father in an oil deal. Did people hear that? Maybe they didn't hear that. Did they hear that? I, I did a fifty thousand dollar oil deal with Clay Udaley, Tom Udaley, his dad, an oil deal. Anyway, moving on, folks. <laughs> I'm I'm also joint owner of Vampire Sunglasses with Jonathan Cleck. I own eighty five percent of his company. It's true. He owns Jonathan Cleck's company. Eighty. He gave me extra because I helped him. I know. He gave me 85% of his settlement. Do you know how much it's worth? Hmm. Do you know how much his settlement is worth? I know how much it's worth, yeah. It's worth $500 million, folks. What's 85% of $500 million? Johnny Kleck is a, is, is a saint, okay? Johnny Kleck is real. And I hate when people give him hate because he does not deserve it. It's okay, baby. He gave himself enough hate for what he was involved in, which was debaucherous, lascivious sex with women, alcohol, and drugs. He admits it. Forgive him. He didn't know what he was doing, and he repented immediately when he found out that Christ is Lord. He immediately repented and said, please forgive me. I've been a disgusting person. 
as we all feel. Hey, boys, would you like the, uh, I'm going to Papa John's, would you like the garlic bread sticks? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Don't come down here. It's okay. Stay in your room, son. We're, we're getting out soon. You We've been a, doing this you huge, so long. You have a huge room, Zach. You don't need to be out here right now. Well, we're, we're gonna come out soon. We're gonna come. Yeah, we're do we're finishing up the stream. Yeah, we'll we're be out soon. We're almost done. Do you, do you believe the views on the, your views are so crazy? What are the views on this? No, thing this right the time, now, man. The, this is insane. This has to throw you into major monetization. With with the holy shit. You got nine likes. Hit the thumbs up, folks. We got 80 in the room and only nine thumbs up. Could you hit the thumbs up? Yeah, man. Hit, hit the, the thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thank you. We love you. Good content creators we want to be. As Yoda would say. Good content creator I want to be. Yes? No? I'm going to Papa John's. I'm dialing. Stuff crust. They have, hey, Nick Akato. I want to try their stuffed crust. So I got the Garden Fresh, because I want veggies, of course. Oh. Stuffed crust. And then hey. I got some garlic Parmesan breadsticks. Can I ask a family-related question? What, dear? Oh, do you want something to drink, dear? What? A drink, a, a Pepsi, a yeah, Diet Pepsi I'll or something. Yeah, I'll take Diet Pepsi. Okay. Or Coke. Diet Coke is my favorite. They have Diet Pepsi. Okay, that's fine. Hey, folks. Would you like a soda, William? Um, like a large thing of soda or just a small bottle? A two liter or something. Or I could get you also a 20 ounce. They have Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew. Just whatever's the smallest. Okay, oh, do okay. you want Mountain Dew, Sierra Mist, Pepsi? Um, Pepsi. Pepsi? Okay. Welcome. Oh, I hear the guinea pig is. Cheech. They also have these jalapeno popper rolls. Jalapeno popper rolls? Yes. Whatever. The I'm not eating any of that junk. I'm not eating any of that. I'm not. Okay. It makes me ill. We'll wait until later if we get really high and then you'll be like... Bruh, bruh, bruh. No, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm done with it because it made me so sick. Well, I just want to try the... You know what I had? Huh? I had three pieces of the Wisconsin pan-made pizza from Domino's. Three uh -huh. pieces. And it made me so sick. I'm lactose intolerant, I think. That might be it, yeah. I can only... You know what I got the boys? What? The cheese stuff, but with Alf this Alfredo cheese pizza. A hundred and seventeen fucking dollars, folks. Yep. This is why I'm broke. Yep. Hey, can somebody give me a home because I can't do this anymore? <laughs> I can't. I I'm totally broke. Like, I'm done. I have nothing, really. It's very, very <laughs> modest income. Yep. Hey. Do you know I have so much anxiety, I, I can't even open my Wells Fargo app. I don't know how much is gone. I can't even look at it. Honey. I'm I, so nervous. Do you know how much we have? No. So don't worry about it. I have to make it down. Does does, does that number make you happier? Knowing yeah, it? Yeah. Thank you. You looked at it. You had the courage. I didn't have the courage to do it. I'm so scared. I'm like it's gonna be 18. I'm done. Don't make a man out of you. Hey. I spent <laughs> a lot of money on a family. I'm already a man. I. Spent, I <laughs> Do you know how much money I put into this family, folks? Six hundred and fifty thousand dollars into this family. That's an investment in a family. Well, it was also court costs, and moving, <laughs> well, and being forced to move. Court several costs. Times. And be forced to move several times and lawyer fees. I demand reparations from the government. I do. <laughs> They're assholes. I demand reparations 
as an abused citizen from the government. And we're going to get it. How does one spend $117? Well, you get three soft drinks. (laughs) You get two breadsticks. I'm broke. You get two pizzas. Folks. And a dessert. It's gone. Broke. It's not gone. Almost. We're almost there. Calm down. He's just being dramatic. I can't handle it. He's being dramatic. Sorry. Sort of. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you see me? I'm just like chill as fuck. I'm like, I'm ready to be you've fucking been broke. Homeless. You've been homeless. I know. I'm like, I'm ready to go broke and get a fucking job and just fucking hustle again. I can fucking do it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fucking life. It's been All a nice right. vacation. <laughs> well, you chose the fire. I went to the water. Metatron, Sandalfon, water and fire. What? How do I, how do I know that, some dude? What? I'm telling you, man. This is what I fucking ordered. I'm not lying. Jesus Christ! <laughs> hey. You're not, you just doxed this completely. Oh, I don't care. They already Dox know it. completely for fuck's sake. They, sh- they couldn't see it all. Yeah, they saw it all. No, they didn't. Uh, They're not uh, seeing it at all, honey. Uh, Look at the screen. You already flashed our address. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Whatever. Holy shit. Well, yeah, it's already been in the chat, so who cares? Yeah, right? Fucking bullshit. <laughs> but check that out. Assholes. That's what I got. Does that look like a lot of food? No. Copyright. Sure. Not really. Get out. There you go. Catch it! Hey, man, we're just ordering <laughs> the... How much were those stuffed crusts? How many pizzas did you get? Two! Oh, okay. Look, this is like literally what I got. Fine, whatever. I don't care. It's insanity. I can't Your handle. world it's is an a ashtray. Let me see. Yeah! The pizzas, the stuffed crusts are $20. Just heads up on you guys. If you go to Papa John's, each pizza is $20. We burn and coil like cigarettes. The more you cry, your ashes turn to mud. Right? My world is unaffected. There is an exit here. 13 items for three people? Jesus Christ. Oh. They don't get that I have literally fucking teenage sons. They need food, yeah. They do. Oh my God, look at all the food she got. She's fat. I don't think that's a lot of food for us. Like, it's two pizzas, two breadsticks, a dessert, and drinks. Yeah! Yeah! How is that too much food? Okay. That's it. It's a normal fucking order. All right. Can we move on? My God, they're making a big deal out of that. Oh, my fucking God. Like, everything I do is a big deal. You guys are fucking nuts. (laughs) Like, everything I do is, like, picked apart and scrutinized into something. Jesus, fuck. (laughs) I can't do it, folks. That's it. God. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Shanny, we ordered too much pizza. Do you get it? We ordered two pizzas. It's illegal, folks. <laughs> We're going past our calorie ration. That's right, Cheech. Cheech has had it. Even he's crying. He, yeah, even he's crying. He's like, yeah. He's like, this is ridiculous. Shanny just ordered pizza for her family. For How is the little baby? How's Cheech? He's good? Good. We're getting him a friend soon, but... Does, do you have enough peppers and food for him? Yeah. COVID okay. destroyed everything. You can't even get your guinea pig a friend. No. It's horrible. Shit. No. Oh. 
Thank you, Isabella. Pizza can be eaten more than one meal. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we usually do. That is usually what is have a, it, Like in the morning, breakfast, pizza. Because oh. oh. all the fat like solidifies on at, that cold pizza. Look at that shit, man. That's no joke. Do you want other people to look at you or do you want me? me to I'm look looking at, at myself. I'm sorry. I know it's narcissistic. I'm, I am, though. I'm proud of it. It looks good. I can't help that. You know what looks good? The pathunka thunk. Yeah, it does. I look mean, at look this. At that, look man. at that. Stop. Sorry. Stop. <laughs> My own wife. I can't touch. I'm but a, look at look at it. look at this waist, Done. though, man. Done. Look at this waist, though, man. That's like, look how thin that is now. Look how thin my waist went. I know and that. And the fupas barely go there anymore. Look at your waist. Like, look at that. That's amazing. So, pla. 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 You got healthy. There's honest people that said you have, like, blue. Blue said, yeah, Shani lost weight, man. I mean, what's proof is, like, the bagginess of this... Yeah, that it's huge on you now. <laughs> That's huge on you now. I know, man. Praise Jesus. Leftover pizza is good. Yeah, it is. That's right, G-Man. The trolls would cherry pick everything and hate it when Christians enjoy themselves. What waste? <laughs> what waste? Yeah, I, I exactly. She's like banging. What? What waste your paper thin? No. Shitty's banging looking, man. I like people don't see you. That's the like. Thing. You look awesome. Mm. You look amazing. Like for instance, let me just. You show off the trophy wife. Yeah, man. Look I mean, at her. Trophy wife. She looks amazing. Huge, I got some like curves now, man. Huge fucking tits. Bam. Huge tits. You see that? So I can't do it. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> so, I'm proud of myself. You look great. You look amazing. You look great. It's all this that it's all about confidence and you rock your body so much. You look amazing. You always did. What it is is like the fupa going away. Yeah. Finally. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm noticing this stuff about me, and that makes me proud of myself, because I am legitly trying. You look good. You look amazing. And I'm trying to be more fit. Like these stairs, I'm walking more up and down yeah. the stairs to try to get more fit. Yep. It's hard. But you're doing it. and that's I good. am. You should turn the light on for, for folks. Your O-ring. I love that. You have that set up perfectly. How, oh, folks, how you doing, folks? <laughs> Amazing. Right, curvy. Most women have a hard time to get curves. Well, yeah. <laughs> women pay for it. Oh. Women pay for these curves. They pay. Like for Trisha Paytas was like, "How much did you pay for your bit, boobs and ass when I met her?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Nothing. nothing. They're real." She's like, "They're real." They're real? No. <laughs> yes, Trisha. That's because she. That's <laughs> that's because she had prayed to Jesus to get big tits when she was young. She wanted big tits. Right. Is that true, Shani? Yes. There you go. The heavy breathing? Screw you, man. I got lung problems. I've had COVID. COVID. Screw you, man. You gonna make fun of people for COVID? Yeah, you gonna make fun of people for having lung damage due to COVID? Screw you, man. That's the new norm. You get COVID and you get lung damage and everything you do is is heavy breathing. Yep. Shit. Go to Quisk. Chris Cuomo on CNN, and he fucking huffs and puffs now. And he's like a bodybuilder. I know, man. Chris Cuomo is like a bodybuilder, you know. Perfect fucking physique, male. Right? Yeah. I seen folks. This ain't a lie. At the dispensaries, I've seen brothers 
uh, black dudes, brothers, this fucking tall, like over me, like seven two, and they're like, they're like, oh, oh, I can't breathe, man, I can't breathe. Everybody can't breathe. No. Nobody can breathe right. No, man. There's in our atmosphere. Have you okay? Has anyone did any re research on the oxygen levels on the Earth right now? Yeah. Have you actually done your actual research? Back in the seventy, the oxygen levels God, you're were twenty percent, fifteen percent within our atmosphere. You're so pretty. Do you know what the oxygen levels in our atmosphere now is? What? Five percent to seven percent. Jesus. So we went from fifteen percent to seven to five percent oxygen wow. levels. We're all slowly dying of oxygen deprivation. <sighs> Why do you think you can't think straight? Our atmosphere is totally crumbling up. Bro. At the seams. This is why so many legislatures have been talking about this global warming shit. Because the layers of our atmosphere are literally being destroyed. Yeah, I, that's true. Hey, that's true, folks. We, like, thank you, Christina Blackfeather. I still have breathing mm. problems and fatigue. Hubby has that and recovering from organ failure. Dude. Exactly. Wow. GTV, I huff and puff going up the stairs sometimes. Just don't listen to the troll. You you go all huffy and puffy, G man. I don't believe it. Ah, I don't believe it. Not our brother. I did not make that up. Make what up? About the oxygen levels of our of our world. No, show them the article. It's real. That's real shit, folks. That's not conspiracy. Look it up. Our oxygen levels have been depleted. Mm -hmm. That's why they've been trying to tell us about global warming and getting our fucking atmosphere back. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yep. Why would I lie about something like that? All of them said, though, Al Gore and Elon Musk, all of them said, fuck it because it's too late. Don't even worry about it now. You waited too long to do anything. It's over. So, okay, let's party like it's 2000 again fucking party the planet's dead it's gonna die soon so get ready to see Jesus folks what do you want me to say I just work here for Jesus and I'm telling you the planet's broke it's broken the Lord has to come back now because he said in the scripture there's going to be a time when he has to come back to save it from the people that insist on destroying it. The earth. He has to come back. Because the planet's broke. There you go. Shani's great. She, you're an awesome producer. <laughs> I say right there. You see that? Wow. You see that? You got it? Do you get that? It's real. Fucking conspiracy idiots. It's <laughs> real. No, it's not real, but it is. This was from uh, what university? I don't know. This is from uh, the University of Michigan. Mm. Their records. They have amazing re records of atmospheric uh, uh, of the atmosphere because they have these huge atmospheric like. Um, big old like balls in the uni in, in the university mm -hmm. where they actually just look at the atmosphere mm -hmm. it's getting bad man yeah grizzly ass even when yeah. fishing you can't you can't catch and release nearly as much as you could 50 years ago exactly our fish are dying okay. our sea life are Fuck. dying Oh. In Serene Meadows, exactly. The world is dying. Jesus is coming back. What? Exactly. That's true. That's it. Like, the radiation points are so bad right now because of all the freaking holes in the ozone right now. I'm going to get the verse for folks. 
Ugh. It's getting bad. But if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. You do the own research yourself. I've done the research. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the verse I'm thinking of is in my book, man. It's in my book. My book, folks. Your book? My book. Your book. Well, it's John the Apostle's book, but... Really? Yeah. It's John the Revelator's book. Fuck. It won't load it. <laughs> Dude, look at my subscribers. I'm about to hit 400. Damn, that was quick, too. I know, I just should do this more often than me being a schlumpy freaking bitch on camera and not give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, we also live at high altitude, and you probably realize we yeah. do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's my, oh my god, is it my book? And the, look at the chapter and verse number. Oh my god, this is like God-ordained shit. That's the verse I was looking for. Revelation eleven eighteen. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged, and thou shalt give this reward unto thy servants the pro this is the throne judgment. The beam of seat judgment where we get our rewards, the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, great and small, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And that's the New World Order. They're destroying the planet deliberately. With the 5G. They're destroying the planet deliberately. That guy who did that bombing in Nashville, yeah. he died a freaking martyr. He was a martyr, definitely. He was a martyr. Yep. He got, yeah. he got cancer from 5G. Yep. And he sold, he gave his house away to some homeless lady in Vegas. Yeah. And gave his car away. And before he even did the bomb, he warned everyone in the area to get out of the way and get away and be safe. Yeah. The only one who died in the bombing was him. And the reason why he wanted to do it is to put awareness on 5G and that is causing cancer to everyone. And we're all dead. Yeah. In five years, we're all dead because of 5G. Pretty much. You can you can you can string string us up on fucking crosses like Jesus because that they're crucifying the planet. They're baking the planet in radiation and killing the planet. You get it? That's what you're dealing with. How you emotionally deal with that's your business. But I exactly. got right. Right. I don't care if my hair looks oily. I have fucking perimenopause and I'm fucking have my period and you're fucking rude. And if my hair's fucking greasy, oh well, there's nothing the fuck I can do Your about it because I'm fucking perimenopause. So go fuck yourself, rude asshole. How about that? Uh. Anyway, sorry. God, that's so rude to mention Your someone on their looks. Your hair looks sexy as fuck. Thank you, baby. Yeah, it does. You look like poison. <laughs> right, man? You look like poison from fucking Final Fight and Street Fighter. You're hot as shit. Thanks, You're dude. You're hot as fuck. You just ordered a pizza and liters of soda and you're worried about 5G? Yeah, I doubt that pizza and liter will give me cancer as fast as that fucking people, 5G. People have no idea. I know. I have perimenopause and don't look like that. Well, good. Go suck a fucking dick and feel beautiful, bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh! This fucking thing's a 5G phone. <laughs> the, iPhone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a 5G device. I didn't even know that. I try to grow stuff in my apartment. Yup. I have this grow tent that I'm going to be purchasing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's got these amazing LED lights. And uh, do you know how to make a bag of... Or, or do you know how to make potatoes last forever? 
You take just one of those like soil bags and you poke holes in it and you just put potatoes in it that like have the already the eyes sprouted and you just put it in there and then you forever can have potatoes and the roots will naturally uh keep the soil going i love that stuff yeah bro. you have forever potatoes i used to grow tomatoes in my apartment with chris and those, the, they just kept on growing. They just wouldn't stop. And my mom lied to CPS and said that my t potato or my tomatoes were fucking marijuana. And CPS came in just to see if I was growing marijuana in my in my tomatoes. Did you know that? No. Yeah, I was like, it's tomatoes. My mom's crazy and lying. <laughs> Because she's like freaking out. Oh my god, she has a grow light. Yeah, I was growing tomatoes. <sighs> Be careful what you say, Shani. Trolls will twist what you say and maybe think you're growing drugs instead. I'm not growing anything in my house right now. So, and if I did, it's legal to grow weed in my house. So. <laughs> it's not easy to do the potato grow bag, hon. I wish I was. I've tried. Really? Are you sure? When I did it, it was pretty easy. I don't know. I lived in Minnesota, though. We tried the bucket method for potatoes. It did not work. I grow peppers and tomatoes, though. Oh, yum. What you doing, boo-boo? It's a surprise. It's a surprise. I have no idea what he's doing. He keeps saying there's a surprise, but... Yes. I am trying to book stuff. What are you booking, buddy? Do you want me to spoil it? No. You can keep it. Okay. It's like I can never surprise you. Yeah, it is very hard to surprise me, huh? It is hard to surprise you, actually. And I want to. Jesus, you know? I really want to. Mm hmm Here we go. Yeah. My reputation scale is terrible. Reputation scale. Yeah, I just got to notice that I can lock my reputation scale. What is that? Mean? From websites. So people can't look up my shit on the internet. It's, oh my god. Your reputation scale? Yeah, everyone has a reputation scale. How many times you've been in prison, gone to oh, court. Okay. How, how people feel about you. Oh. It's a literal thing. Well, and mine is terrible. Well, your top video on the internet is the worst Christian on the planet. Yeah, but I think of it that way. I'm considered the worst Christian um, legalist. Like you're you're considered a bad Christian person by not being a legalist. But it but anyway, to me Jesus is going to okay. take that and give me a great reward for that shit mm -hmm. to be labeled that. Yeah, you're they're saying you're the best. Because Christian. basically, you're saying I'm the worst and Jesus Christ said you're the best. You you're the best. So thank you for making me the worst because you gave me a great reward in heaven. You did. <laughs> you know how much of a massive reward it is in heaven. It's a great honor that I got. Yeah, it is. But you deserve it. Hey. If by doing that, you made me have a leadership position that trumps you guys. Like, yeah. I'm going to be, like, over you. There's a bitch I have to make. <sighs> Hey, 
Aries, you damn well know I have a terrible reputation. What? It's like Shaddy has the best reputation. <laughs> no. Okay, well, you're talking internet. <laughs> internet, no, because she's been slandered so much and lied about. Her rep is horrible because she's been lied about so much. Do you get that? The real Shani is like an angel, literally. And she is. I believe she's an archangel. Ha! Okay. I believe it. That's it. Shani is going to be our supervisor in, in the what? afterlife. That's right. Supervisor? That's we right. I'm going to be your fucking supervisor, you so you better good. learn how to take fucking orders. Yeah, but you make a good supervisor, you know? I know. I, I, I've i always have. They've always put me in put positions. Put in supervision roles. Yeah. Well, you, they should because you're smart. Okay, I'm gonna go do a quick vidya. A vidya on what? Uh, uh, well, I don't want my last video on the Reverend Dude channel to be me like, yeah, my fucking wife's a liar. I'm doing a nice video. Is it my fucking wife is beautiful and yes. I love her? Yes. <laughs> hey, do you know that's true? So that's what it's gonna be. I'll be right back. Okay, baby. It's gonna be like a 10 minute thing. Well, good. The the pizza should be here soon, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they're not that far from us right now. It was horrible when they posted the arrest videos. Yes, it was. But to see that they get off by this shit, cause they're sociopaths. You know, for some reason, Drag wants to do this stupid revenge thing with me, and I'm like, fuck you, dude. Go do your revenge. Expose me for being a typical person with BPD. Imagine all the haters bowing down to Shanny in heaven. Right? You're the one who made me the worst, which makes me the best in heaven. Like, and here's the thing. They call me a uh, the worst Christian for doing things that a Christian normally would do in what the Bible tells you to do. Like, I love it. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I, like, do really Christian actions, and it's called being the worst Christian. But it's like, I was, like, following the Bible, man. Of course they have no freaking business posting them. But they did it anyway, G. They did it anyway. You know why they did it anyway? To hurt me. Because they have to have a big laugh about everything and make everything into some kind of silly fucking joke. And it's not a joke. My life is not a joke. It's my life. It's not for your entertainment. Shani, you can't be held accountable for what people make you do. I can be held accountable for what I do. I don't know what you're talking about. How do haters get in heaven? They believe in Jesus Christ and they repent from their hatred and bigotry. That's simple. Believe unto Christ and stop being a bigot. GTV Network is the best Christian in my opinion. Is that right, Aries? You hear that, G? He thinks you're the best Christian out there. You probably are. You you <laughs> you don't cuss. You're you're a gentleman. You treat women with respect. So maybe, but I'm not in competition with no one, and I think that's what people don't seem to understand. I'm my own person, and I want other people to be their own person, and I don't, like, 
I'm not into this, like, competitive thing, like, I'm better than you type shit, because it's like, I don't, like, isn't it exhaustion, exhausting doing that? It's just constantly trying to keep up with someone, trying to compete with someone, no. I'm just gonna be me. I'm humble. Be accountable once what you have done, Ron, once. Well, what are you talking about me being accountable for? I take accountability in everything I do. I don't see yours blocks the list. Celeste, you got an arrest video. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> Why'd you get arrested? <laughs> You've done a great service by lo lowering the bar. That's me. What? Okay. Well, you are better than me. No, I'm not. I'm equal. I'm just as fucked up as everyone off. Later, Christina. I'm hooked on eating. I need a beating. Cause I'm really hungry for the Papa John's. I wonder how that stuffed crust is. I really am. I love stuffed crust. Like my favorite stuffed crust though. Gee man, how you talking to me and having a freaking live right now? <laughs> and her lawyer says she was He like watching this and going on this at the same time. <laughs> But she says the school lied to her and other students. I love you, bro. <laughs> Shani, they sang me the 12 strippers of Christmas song, putting me in the car in cuffs. Goddamn fucking asshole cops. They would do that. They really do get off at arresting women. They always want you naked or humiliated in some shape or form sexually. Fucking assholes. Fucking hate cops. You haven't eaten from your restaurant since March, Tammy? I'm so sorry. Repent over and over, repent over and over, repent over and over. Haters never stop hating. That's right, they don't. Most criminals hate the cops. No, most people who have been taking advantage of cops hate cops. How about that? Thank you, Salem Mac. Shoot. You're going to go to everyone in Southside Chicago and call them a criminal? They hate cops. Trust me, they hate cops. You're going to go to New Yorkers and call them criminals because they hate the cops? 
You're going to go to the people of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and tell them that they're criminals because they hate cops? How about Breonna Taylor's family or George Floyd's family? Are you going to call them criminals for hating the cops? The people who want to defend the cops, the people who live in Seattle, you're going to call them cre criminals for it? Or, or maybe, maybe, just maybe, people don't like cops because they take advantage of their position and they harm and abuse civilians with their position. Maybe it's that. So how do haters get in heaven? Haters never stop hating. Can you hate in heaven? Well, I say believe in Christ. Get on your knees and ask him to get rid of the hate. Those people saying they don't parade women in front of guys and lock up or lie in we're given our stuff to change into and stood in line alongside the guys coming in the others to the Google up. Google, they did. So you agree with me that they do, they do have the men watch the women purposely. I truly believe that. That they have these male fucking inmates watch the women get nude in front of the male inmates. And they do this in jail. It's disgusting. Don't break the law, you won't have any interaction with the cops. Well, that's not true. You motherfuckers called the cops on me and I got falsely arrested and that case got dismissed. What are you talking about? Huh? You trying to stick up for cops, honey? There's plenty of people who didn't fucking break the law. That Elijah McClain, for instance, he was just walking home. And those motherfucker cops said, you look suspicious, stood on his fucking neck and killed his ass. That's a little bit better, Celeste Kitty. I don't hate cops. I hate assholes with tiny egos and a badge. One minute. You know what, guys? I'm going to go eat with the kids and stuff. I think it's been a long enough.